Welcome and thank you for tuning in to the American Investor Show. Please click subscribe if this is your first time listening. From trader and CEO interviews to breaking news about companies you won't hear anywhere else, nobody does a better job at keeping you in the know when it comes to penny stocks. The term penny stock generally refers to a security issued by a very small company that trades at less than $5 per share. Penny stocks are extremely risky, yet they offer rates of return on investment not seen anywhere else. The host, guest, and callers are not registered financial advisors licensed by any government entity, and therefore, the following should be considered entertainment. The host, guest, and callers disclaim all liability in the event any information, commentary, analysis, opinions, advice, and or recommendations prove to be inaccurate, incomplete, or unreliable, or result in any investment losses. Before investing in penny stocks, you should consult a professional to determine what strategy may be best for your individual needs. Now, without further ado, your host, LaSalle Anungu. There, there we go. No, no, no. You guys hear me? Do you guys hear me? I'm going to have to. No, he said he has no idea. <laughs> I'm going to have to fix that part of the uh, show, ladies and gentlemen. I, I know you can hear me now, right? I, I'm going to fix that part out. Shout out to everybody in the show right now. Shout out to all the people in the show right now and the people watching in the future. I appreciate you. All right, Londell Carter, first guy in the building. All the guys in the chat room right now, William Williams, K Mac, Gold Hill Trader, George M, Kenny Dutton, Lewis Rod, Donzel Essex, Norman Powell, all the guys, all of you guys in the chat room right now. Appreciate you. And ladies and gentlemen, today we had a nice little bounce. We had a nice little bounce off the tread lines that I was going to draw up yesterday on the show in fact i did get a chance to draw them up and i'm going to show you we had a nice little bounce off that here's uh one of the first ones all right i'll probably do that better let me see i can do that i can do that one better let's get a little closer to that edge all right here was the first one that i was going to draw up all right as you see that one collapsed went lower here's another trend line we were going to talk about yesterday and we'll talk about them right now all right I can draw that one a little bit better. And what happens when these ETFs or any stock fails trend lines? Fails trend lines. All right. That's another one. That's QQQ. This is QQQ. And in fact, I want you want to go to the SPY. That's the one I really want to eye on. Let me, let me do the SPY. This, this, is, this is the SPY. Because this is the one that you really want to keep your eye on. The Dow Industrials. Here's that one. They follow each other somewhat closely, but this one is really where. And here's that third one. And boy, you bulls. I, I got to give it to you bulls, man. You you really are fighting. You really are fighting to keep this, this trend going. You really are fighting to keep this bull market going. And let's zoom in a little bit on as you can see here let's go to the hourly here's the hourly in fact we'll see it a lot better on the five minute chart and just underneath it right just underneath it but you know it bounced off that trend 
it bounced off that trend, right? So that's a line going back to that April 25th, I believe it's where I started off at, that it's respecting. It's really respecting. And we're going to see whether or not this holds. Right now, the futures market is pretty weak. The futures market is pretty weak, but we're going we're gonna to see what happens uh, tomorrow. We're going to see what happens tomorrow. Again, I still believe that everything is going lower. All right? Let me tell this guy to refresh. All right? I still believe everything is going lower. I still believe everything is going lower. And, I, and I'm going to show you that in the, ch in the chart right now. All right. And as you can see here, we've got a already identified low and we've got another wedge that's starting up here, too. All right. And what and what do they teach you? in technical charting. About wedges. Triangles, if that's what you want, you can go with that, too. We can go with that, too, if you want to go with that. All right. Let's zoom out a little bit. All right, let's go out a further a little bit. But what do they teach you? If you read, one of the things that they teach you is that in any triangle pattern, all right, a wedge pattern, the breakout is, is to the flat side. The breakout is to the flat side. All right, so sometimes the flat is at the top, sometimes the flat is at the bottom, but the breakout's typically to the flat side. I'm looking for the future to show that we come back eventually, break that third tread line, go lower, and then test that bottom support. And test that bottom support. As I started the show yesterday, and I really wanted to get into that conversation about buying, buying premium right now and just collecting premium. Callie Rob said he wants a four-hour show. Let's 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 see what happens. Let's see what happens. You guys bringing up tickers. We're going through them. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. Typically, I'll end the shows because you know, shit dries up. Uh, SPY. This is what it's on the chart right now. So again, I'm buying a lot of premium uh, right now for the week. I'm up twelve hundred dollars. I have not done any other trades. I have not done any other trades. All I'm doing is buying premium. All right. Well, you don't buy premium. You collect premium. So I'm collecting premium. I'm just selling out of the money calls right now. That's all I'm doing on SPX. I'm just selling these out of the money calls. You can just look at a chart and identify, you know, the direction of the move. Right. I mean, obviously, you can see this is going. Is this going up or is going sideways or down? It's going sideways and down. So therefore, I want to sell out of the money calls to the upside. Right. I want to sell out of the money calls to the upside. Right. You, you, you can be, you know, you can sell out of the money puts, but I, I don't want to ever risk that it could come to me. It could come to me. Uh, a Ranger just means I'm selling. I'm selling out of the money calls. So I'm collecting the difference. I'm going to I'm going to go over that on the show. Yeah, yeah, this is this is this is the show making up for yesterday. That's why I gave it the same title. All right. We'll get into all that, and I'll show you an example and all that right now. I'm telling you guys right now, this is probably the most profitable way to trade so far. I wish, I don't know why. And here's the thing, because this is the thing that pisses me off in investing and in trading period, is that you'll have guys who know what the stra know ways to make money, but they won't tell you. They won't tell you. Like, they know, you know... Uh, selling out of the money calls is a great way to make income, right? But they won't tell you that shit. Could have been doing this shit. Could have been doing this shit. Obviously, your account has to be a certain size. And now, right, out of the five years I've been trading, I've got a pretty, you know, I, I got a sizable account. I can, I can really do stuff like this on a bigger scale, on a bigger level. Most of you guys in here can do it as well. In fact, I figured out today you can do it with, as little as a thousand dollars. I got a guy doing it right now. Selling out of the money. Well, he's going to tomorrow sell some out of the money calls on uh, on Snap, which basically collapsed today. Which basically collapsed today. So let's go through your tickers. Uh, you guys already know what I'm doing. I showed you my plays 
yesterday on the show. We'll go over that a little bit later after we go over your plays. Um, let me see here. RNVA uh, for you OTC guys. Again, I've, I've been kind of moving away from the OTCs. I, you know, and I know you guys have noticed it. I just, you know, I'm I'm playing with too much size right now, and you know, I I I, I mean, my old man gave me basically every dollar he's worked for and saved for. I just can't I can't play this shit no more. You know what I'm saying? So I, I got my old man's money. I got my uh, my 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 mom's money. I, I just can't fuck with these kind of shit no more. I'm still gonna talk about it because you guys are in it, right? I'm still gonna talk about it. But at the end of the day, you know, I, you know, there it is what it is with a, with a lot of these plays. Um, AXXA, another OTC. Is this OTC? I believe it is OTC. Because I would have heard about this if it was, uh, or we would have heard about it on CNBC. Let me see. AX, yeah, definitely OTC. I figured it was. I just, you know, you just never know sometimes because it looks like Riot Blockchain from a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago, rather. Uh, you said you were really interested in Option Info last night, really interested in hearing Bat Scientist and the connection died. Yeah, yeah, I know Batch is a busy man. Hopefully, he'll, he'll, he'll join us today. I know he runs around a lot. Yeah. We had a tree in the neighborhood fall down, man, and knocked out... Uh, the whole block. The whole block. It's kind of weird when things like that happen and everybody comes outside and starts talking like, okay, you see me pulling up in this house for the last, what, six and a half months I've been here? You don't even talk to me now. All of a sudden the lights go out. You know I got a flashlight. And hey, uh, you mind if I borrow the flashlight there? Get your ass up out of here, man. I pull up in the driveway. Hey, never weighs back. Um, AM Apple. Yeah, shout out to Apple. Shout out to Apple crushing earnings today after hours. But you know, look, that's the new thing right now. But look, I I I gotta give it to Apple. They did beat top line, bottom line, even those little Apple pods that you put in your ear that make you look like a child molester. Uh, those are actually running at some decent margins, and they 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 showed to be making some profits uh, in that. I was actually surprised to see. Uh, but they also announced that they bought like $25, million, $25 billion worth of stock back. So they're, they're playing that whole game of, uh, you know, manipulating. You know what I'm saying? They're playing that little game. All right. Yeah, I see that IntelliSat, that IntelliSat thing everybody's playing. Somebody call me up. You know the number. Call me up and tell me why IntelliSat is, is so hot. Tell me why IntelliSat is so hot. I, I, I haven't been playing it. Uh, obviously, looking at the trend, this would have been an awesome, you know, an awesome, um, uh, uh, you know, bear put situation, right? Selling out of the money puts on this. I don't think it's, I don't think it's liquid. I doubt that it's liquid. I doubt that it's got liquid options, but. You know, still, uh, what a great situation. In fact, let me check that out real quick. Uh, does it have any options? It does have options. And it's actually pretty liquid for May 18th. I'm actually quite surprised. I'm, I'm not a big fan of that spread, though. But uh, they, are, they do have options. All right. Nah, Chris, I'm, I'm redoing yesterday. So I'm redoing yesterday's. Yousef, you said you're in long at around six. Shout out to you. Shout out to you. You know, and looking at this chart, man, that's a monster kill, bro. Monster kill. kill, kill, I, 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 kill. I'll give them that. That's a nice chart. And you can see here, again, if you got my trading videos, you saw break above that 50 RSI line, MACD cross, right? So this this is your entry, at least here on this daily chart. I bet you the hourly got you in a lot earlier. All right, the hourly guy. Look at that. Look at that hourly chart. All right, after a lot of 
uncertainty that hourly chart gets you in back on April the 4th. Back on April the 4th. All right. You could could have cashed out here and then got back in after the trend resumed. Uh, again, that's why I love I love that 50 RSI line. A uh, great opportunity for you to get in, uh, you know, on, on going long. Uh, whether or not the hourly or the daily chart. Obviously, the, the higher the time frame, the more accurate the signal. The more accurate the signal. Great play. Great play. Um, you had uh, billionaire Zam Sam Zell. I don't know if you guys saw what he's talking about. He basically came out and said that he believes real estate is priced accordingly he believes that the market is topped and there's just very little value out there now uh it's really interesting for him to come out and say that he doesn't really talk that much all right just another one of those you know guys with a lot of money born at the right time did the right thing is now sitting on a you know a couple billion dollars so he's just another one of those guys who's added his voice to you know, the bearish sentiment out there. I, 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 we, we're talking about this now because I already know it's going to come down. You know, at, at this point, what's what's the reasoning to go higher? I'd like to know what the reasoning is to go higher. You know, let's take a look at BW. People said it was, remember two weeks ago, earnings, earnings, earnings. These earnings... Besides, you know, some of these companies that should be putting up the numbers they're putting up, most of them have been forgettable. Most of them have been pretty much forgettable. You know, Amazon, that's, man, look, that Amazon earnings, we didn't get a chance to even really go into that yesterday, but that Amazon earning number, that was fucking insane, man. Scoochie. You know. Yeah. Burr. That Amazon number was insane. Uh, somebody bringing up BW, BW coming from a low RSI level here, at least on the daily chart. Uh, let's look at the hourly. All right, so hourly, BW peaking above the 50 RSI. Let's see, hopefully this is the beginning of something. All right, as you can see here, it's peaked up before not too long ago, at least here on, the, on this hourly chart. Couldn't hold it, ended up coming back down, so... Uh, set your stop loss appropriately on BW. But, of course, you hope for it to stay above that 50 RSI on that time frame so that it eventually, you know, works its way up into the daily chart. And this is where you start to get that volume that's going to come in and help you continue that, that upside move. All right. BW, a really good stock that uh, we, we traded pretty aggressively here. We traded pretty aggressively here when it fell off the roof a couple months ago, if you remember that, uh, 2017. All right. Uh, crude has been volatile. Yeah, crude has been up and down. Crude has been up and down. Crude has been up and down. I'll, I'll get your question in just a bit, SSE Trader. 845, I think this is Ken. What's up, man? Hey, what's up? How are you this evening? Good, good, good. What you got for I, us? I, I, first thing I had to talk to you about was the. Um, I'm not in the fuse. I, I mean, I, but it's just interesting. Um, you, the new, news came out this morning. It was crappy, stupid news. I guess that with no or no earnings in the stock, it pops twelve percent to one seventy eight, and then it it tanked. And now, what stock is this? This is the FUSE dollar twenty five a new low on that one dollar twenty five down fifty eight percent from the three hundred four highs. Well, yeah, I mean, the, at this at this point, the investors are shook, man, and I, I wouldn't even touch FUSE nope. until nope. Uh, you know either they cross back above that fifty line. The MACD yeah. looks horrible. Uh, all the indicators just looking really ugly right now for FUSE. It doesn't help that the shorts want so want it so badly. I mean, they want this stock so badly. And uh, I, don't, I don't know how these guys are finding shares, but they're definitely talking like they've got shares on hand. And uh, they're loving to see it go down. And I think now it's all about breaking that low seat. Let's see what happens. Yep. Uh, definitely, definitely. I, I, I saw you, you. I put in the chat the AXXA. I have a small position because I got, I've got in today. I mean, it's, it's up a crazy amount. But yeah. something regarding... 
people having to cover or something. There's some kind of date set next month where it's a merge with another company, TLNUF or something like that. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, it's a small float, and it's crazy. I mean, the stock's up 58,000%. You realize that? 58,000% in, what, three weeks? 58,000% <laughs> in three Sorry, weeks? That's what I saw Gary said on one of the, on the newbie. I mean, I'm, 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 I'm looking at the chart. I believe it. I mean, you're, you're coming from 0003. What was that? 0003 on April 16th? 0003 to 33 cents. Do the math on that. Again, congratulations to the promoters involved in that. I, yeah. I I know how it feels to win on something this big. It, it's incredibly life changing. I'm sure the guys who who put it all together, they're I mean they're ecstatic right now. They're picking out their <laughs> new homes. They're picking out what cities they want to move to. I mean I, I you know congrats to them. Congrats to them. Yeah, yeah it's pretty cool when that when you when, if you can hit one of those um, hundred dollars worth of the eight grand. That's amazing. Wow. Better than an option. <laughs> Um, I want to bring up. Remember the uh, Firefish F R F S Frank Red Frank Sam. That you know that one. If you, it's been doing pretty good. I mean, considering it's been a stair step up. Is this the one where there was talk about some kind of like Middle East billion dollar deal yeah, right, or some right, crap Iran. shit like yeah, that? Good story there. Oh my yeah. god! Is that, are they still running with that story? They're still running. They're going to have a, this month, the month of May. They're going to have some kind of you know huge update about about it. That that's why it probably started running again. There was this paperwork, guys who don't know. There was this paperwork that <laughs> somebody behind a company put out showing a billion dollar deal <laughs> out somewhere in the Middle East that supposedly this company is behind. And that was basically the last we heard of them. But uh, we'll see. Obviously, guys are, are buying this and, and running with the story. Yeah. So, it, interesting. Interesting, to say the least. Um, can you look at um, here, uh, CHEK? CHEK, it's a small Israeli biotech uh, company. It, it, it recently made a huge move from 4 to 20, came back down to like 8, and looks like it's trying to run again. Small float. Obviously, uh, now this play. one, I'm I'm not familiar with this one. Uh, thank you for bringing the story to us. I'm not familiar with C H E K. I'd have to look into it. Nice move. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it looks it looks interesting. We'll, yeah. We'll see. Yeah, someone. It, someone. Yeah. So we'll see. Definitely. Um, just to let you know the C E L Z. I'm out of that. The R and V A. I got out of that. I got out of that a couple of days ago. The C E L Z start. The C L Z started breaking down. Yes, I got out. You, you got to be quick with these things. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't fall in love with this crap. Absolutely. Um, What's going on with the uh, PRED? Do any? I mean. Oh yeah, right. What a piece of this shit, man. I mean, what a thing. what a what a turd. We just brought it up what yesterday, and sure enough, man, it's uh, what, what a piece Both of right shit. Right into it. You know? it, it. It's still diluting. It's pretty obvious. Where, where's the bottom? Eighty cents. I mean. Yeah. You know. I, who knows? I mean, he, he said, it's going two dollars by ju- July first. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. It's unfortunate. If we all made our money, we sold. Thank God. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, anything else to tell you tonight? Um, Apple had good earnings. That'll be good, hopefully good for the market tomorrow. Um, uh, uh, that that B I E L I brought up last night mm-hmm. it was up another thirty percent today. This this little selfie stock is seven billion shares in the float. Oh my God! And, and somebody again, somebody's loaded up at some of these lower levels, and I, I I don't think that there's that much float up there for it to be moving like this. So it looks like somebody bought a shitload ways back, and uh, now I mean ninety seven on the RSI. I mean this is incredible. I, I've seen one hundred two before. That would be the highest I've ever seen. We'll see what happens on uh, B I E L. Okay. Okay. Have a good night. Thanks. Appreciate it, Ken. Thanks, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, Ken mentioned Apple, and Apple, again, crushed their earnings number. But just like Amazon, I don't know if they're going to be able to lift all boats. I don't think they're going to be able to lift all boats. If you remember Amazon, you know, it, 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 held, it held the market in the morning, but uh, by the afternoon, you know, it, it just couldn't, it couldn't hold. It couldn't hold. And you end up with a red day that day on, uh, app, on Amazon earnings. So shout out to Apple. Uh, really proving a lot of guys wrong. Uh, I think a lot of people were looking for the sell-off. And in fact, let me tell you right now, if Amazon, if Apple had missed, boy, that would have been really ugly. That would have been really ugly if Apple missed because I know a lot of guys who, who wanted to see Apple crush. And, and, and that sentiment's been around for a long time. You know, a lot of people just want to see Apple lose. Uh, there's just been this 
you know, idea out there that since Steve Jobs died, that the company's not the same, the ingenuity, the creativity, the strategy isn't the same anymore. But since 2011, I mean, they've been proving people wrong. You know, this guy that they got, you know, running the company now since his death, they've been, he's, he's done a good job. He's done a really good job. So now, you know, we're talking about, hey, can we get to a trillion dollar with a first trillion dollar company? Right? Uh, Amazon and Apple going head to head. Who's going to be first? They're really close. A a Apple's ahead, I think. With tomorrow's end of day market cap, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, if we get another three or four dollars on on Apple tomorrow, uh, by the end of the week, we could be talking to the first trillion dollar company in world history, Apple. And that's a big fucking congratulations to one the big holders in that stock. I mean, I'm talking guys who've been. You know, we're with the company in the early 80s, late 70s. Congratulations to them. Monster kill, 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 kill. We're talking about a, a valuation that, you know, that's insane, man. That's insane. Especially when we're talking about, you know, this number of stock splits and who, who knows. I mean, if you, especially if you've been working for a company like Apple 20, 30 years, you've been investing, buying in the stock, you like the products, you like, you know, the technology. Awesome. Do I play high yield dividend stocks? Nah, too a little too slow for me. That's 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 slow money. Slow money. I think one day, I mean, I could of course see that that being a part of my strategy. But right now, I'm, I think I'm a little too young to be playing uh, high yield dividend stocks. All right. Uh, what's going on, Ricardo Joseph? Yeah, PTOTF, man. Here's the thing about PTOTF. I wrote an article on them on my website, and now they're posting. They're posting. Uh, what's that? Uh, they're posting little ads. There we go. Ads on investing.com. They're posting ads on investing.com with their ticker symbol and everything. So they're going underneath some kind of promo right now on on different, you know reputable investment websites and on different websites uh, out there to get people to you know buy the stock but when you look into PTOTF it's just not it's not it's not a reputable it's not a reputable you know concern it's just it's not you know it's not gonna be the real they don't even have they have what two working prototypes and if you look at the technology that they're trying to put out it's already out there they're not they're, they're, they're not coming out with a revolutionary or some kind of new technology right otherwise trust me they wouldn't be you know trading on the over-the-counter exchange you know people know what's 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 what they know real money you know what's really going to come out here and make a difference and those kind of companies, they don't trade over the counter, man. Let's, I, I'm just, you know, being honest with you. Uh, S U R G. Uh, everything's monetizable. Okay, you're bringing up these. Uh, all right, surge copper and all that. Okay. Yeah, we did. I did see a move in in some of the commodities plays, uh, but they're they're headed in the wrong direction because. We've got the dollar hitting three-month highs. As you can see here, gold's falling off his ass based on that news. You know, gold, I mean, the dollar is, is hot right now. The dollar is hot right now. If you look at USD and, and compare it to, you know, one of these exotic currencies, and I don't even look at USD or Euro USD. I look at like a USD ZAR, right, which is the currency out of South Africa. That's how you're able to get a real idea of, you know, and you see this African currency just being crushed by this U.S., this rise back in U.S. dollar value. Uh, you can do that or you can use USD. What's the Mexican currency? MXN or something like that? Mexican peso. Right. So you can see these moves in the U.S. dollar 
right so i like i like using the exotic currencies because you can look at it and boom okay yeah the dollar's rising the dollar's rising all right and because the dollar's rising then you start looking at okay show me the companies that that you know are export sensitive businesses right that that need a stable and relative and preferably a cheap dollar to be successful to be successful and that looks like companies like caterpillar right companies that are in the uh uh you know uh, heavy machinery and uh construction and things like that right things like that and those these are the companies that that are very sensitive to those kind of moves sideways day today on caterpillar but as you can see here the trend you know and it kind of follows the exchange for the most part but as you can see you know you want to sell premium on this right i'd rather do it on on, on an index but uh even caterpillar as you can see this is going sideways but down right so i want to sell these out of the money calls that are expiring worthless you can make money on that you can make money on that all right for those of you guys who just for whatever reason you just can't get your trading right uh look into that you know strategy of just collecting premium until uh we start getting back to some you know clear levels where you know these moving averages are actually working all right because right now i mean look look at this even some of my favorite moving averages is just all over the place it's just all over the place all right so somebody bring up uvxy somebody bring up uvxy uh i don't know i think as, as we continue to fight uh you know I th i'd probably stay away from any of the type of these volatility trades at least uh in in at least for the short term right at least for the short term i'd probably stay away from some of these volatility trades although there are at levels that you know people say they should return back to to 15 16 right uvxy uh but we're, we're just we're just at that level now we're just basically at that level now so um we'll see we'll see all right but you can definitely buy calls you can buy puts in uvxy and they're quite liquid as well and they're quite liquid as well jdst that's also etf all right that's uh yeah the, the junior gold miners 3x bear again these these are not etfs you stick in these are just etfs you sit in for a couple days or a day or two really uh to take advantage of a you know a higher velocity short-term move all right dust here's the bear um uh, jnug this is interesting because gld was down but jnug was up slightly gold miners again 3x uh etf so the, the miners were up today but for the most part you know jnug i mean these these aren't tickers I, i'm 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 messing with right now i mean these you know looking at what is there to see here what what, what is there to see here and again unless you're you know trading options in a way where you profit from the side the side words action you know what 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 is there to 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 trade here you know dividend stocks are all about the long term 30 years yeah absolutely dividend stocks are about the long term you know but i'm trying to get paid now i'm trying to get paid now you know don't get me wrong i got money sitting on the side right i got money sitting on the side you know what i mean I think one day PayPal will be the, the, the biggest financial institution in the world. One day. So I'm, I'm a PayPal fanboy, big time. Please believe, though, I got my stop loss set on this motherfucker, though. You know, because this, this could come down at any moment. Uh, but I think, I think PayPal could be, it has the ability to be the, the biggest financial institution especially if they get themselves into some of these cryptos they get back into or they not get back but you know i've been dreaming about the idea of paypal buying moneygram and getting into the remittance business i think you know paypal could be huge if they just get a little bit more aggressive 
get a little bit more aggressive use that brand name and get out there make it global 203 you're on the air what's up how you doing sal this is ron anderson uh calling about g-a-w-k-d it's uh they added uh they changed the symbol yeah revert that yeah they did a reverse split if they if they went to uh, uh to d and i can see here yeah it looks like things got uh a little bit more stable and uh, they took off of some of the float which is good and i think the stock really needed that is that good because i had i had two million nine thousand shares and what i noticed in my account it wasn't there so i called e-trade up and she said oh you're getting 800 more shares you're gonna have two million nine thousand something and then i find out uh i ended up with 836 shares <laughs> <laughs> Damn! But the stock price went up. Oh, yeah, it's twenty three thousand. It, it it obviously when a stock reverse splits, it limits the boom, right? I mean, it, it limits the boom in terms of you know the magnitude of of what it would have done to your account if it went up. But here's right. the thing, it wasn't going up, right? It, it, the float was too big, right? It, it just wasn't right. Going up. Right. So you didn't lose uh, your amount, right? You still have the same amount that you put in, right? Uh, cash wise. Well, right, cash wise, okay. uh, I'm sixty six dollars in the positive. Okay, great. <laughs> as of right. today, right. So, all right. So, basically, the you know the the the, the flow got got more manageable. That's a good thing. That's a good thing, especially when you're um, talking about these OTC stocks. You know, that's what attracts okay. the money. It's, it's a lower float, uh, and the idea that this is could be something that can move one day, and and that's just what it's going to be on Guac. And you know, this is kind of sad because I know Guac is a company that. You know, has a million on the balance sheet in terms of generating revenue, but they again they just right. had a horrible share structure, and maybe they're really committed to finally doing something about that now. Yeah, I had dreams of buying a semi truck and a trailer with that stock. <laughs> well, keep, <laughs> but, uh, keep holding. You never know, man. Keep holding. You, you, I mean, you never know. You never know. It would have to go to what ten ten dollars now with eight hundred and thirty six years. It, it would have to go. It would have to get up there pretty, pretty high for it to. Uh, hmm. Right, right. I, I mean, wonder. again, it does limit the boom, but you know, with you said you put in about sixty six bucks at seven cents a share. You know what I mean? At this point. Well, no, no. I bought it at point zero 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 one, so I had two million nine thousand mm -hmm. shares. But after the reverse stock, uh, it's showing sixty six dollars in the green. As far as my total total gain, okay, it went up to one hundred and eighty dollars, but it, you know the price been fluctuating from sure. uh, point eleven up to point fifty. So sure, sure. But okay. as of today, it was sixty six dollars as far as my total gain. Understood. Understood. In the green. Understood. But uh, I kind of hated. I had another stock do the same thing to me, but that stock it it didn't. Um, I was trying to remember the symbol, but. That stock didn't do anything. Yeah. But uh, I just I had some questions about that uh, reverse stock split. I had to get that off my chest. So no no join the show. Thank you, sir. I appreciate the call. All right. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Yes, indeed. Right. Yes, sir. Appreciate the call. Appreciate the call. What's going on, Bill Betts? Shout out to Bill Betts. Appreciate the donation. Appreciate the donation. Shout out to the, I think I got it couple of new guys on the on the patreon too shout out to them i appreciate you man i appreciate you all right uh, yeah yeah i mean that just kind of comes with the territory when you're talking about these otc stocks that kind of comes with the territory when you're talking about these otc stocks all right amazon already kind of hinted at that today uh green day today and you know you had i think some guys were thinking that that gap is going to be covered you know, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, you know, after hours, the, the it's moving higher. And I think Apple and that fight for a trillion is, is playing a part in that as well a little bit. Uh, but a uh, nice move on Amazon today. Green uh, trying to, you know, maybe start a new bottom on that. But uh, it's covered gaps before. But this is a, a gap to the upside. You know, it's covered downside gaps before, but I don't know. Have we had a gap where it wasn't filled? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, there's another earnings gap going back to uh, October of last year. 
not too long ago, as you can see, it never covered that gap. So, uh, you know, it may not come back down. It may not come back down. And that's another stock that, you know, um, you, you know, you can buy some out-of-the-money puts because uh, they killed that. They killed that, that earnings. They killed that earnings number. All right. You said QQQ puts. Went from one to two pennies on Friday. Yeah, a lot of people got got slipping on Friday. Uh, NVDA, HTBX. Let's look at some. Uh, HTBX is another one that's incredible move, man. Incredible, incredible moves on HTBX. Um, and I believe they, again, this was a... Uh, phase two, right? Another one of those, you know, I've, I talked about how cancer, man, when it comes to cancer, bro, any kind of cancer, it's going to, it's going to snap. Monster kill, kill, you know, kill, cancer, kill. cancer, any company that comes even close to meeting some type of, you know, getting closer to the cure, bro. That's, that's, you know, cause everybody knows that's going to be a trillion dollar not a trillion, but maybe a couple hundred billion dollars in the bank, bro. If you can come up with the cure for cancer, you know, you're a billionaire. You're a billionaire. That's why till today people can't understand why the man who cured polio, he could have easily had, you know, taken that out of the public hands and, you know, put a, a, a stamp of his own approval on it, sold it. All right, and became a billionaire, but he gave it away to the public free. Let me see, uh, Trevor Probe, quit dreaming. Yeah, man, that's 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 that OTC, Trevor. I mean, when you're talking about the OTCs and you know just throwing reverse splits here and there, dude, I just couldn't I couldn't deal with that shit. Uh, you said it's already a cure? Okay. Uh, X, XOM. XOM, down a percent. Exxon Mobil. Exxon Mobil is the ticker. And Exxon Mobil, this is another company that's really good about uh, selling premium on or collecting premium on because it's not a big mover. It's not a big it's not a big time mover, so you can sell some of those, you know, out of the money calls a, a buck or two bucks higher because it's it's practically not gonna get there, especially if you get it, you know, a day or two before time runs out. Alright. Western Union. I see somebody bring it up. I haven't looked up Western Union in a minute. Let's look at Western Union. W U. All right, old company, been around a long time. Western Union, not big, not not a not, not a big mover, right? I know they pay a dividend that some people are interested in, but as you can see here, this is the weekly chart. I mean, this is a very boring stock, man. It's a very very boring stock, but uh, you know, some guys trade it. So, Nvidia is in play. Nvidia earnings right around the corner. NVIDIA earnings right around the corner, you know, and that's going to be a beat. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's going to be a beat. That's going to be a beat because they told you in the previous quarter that they were going to be. They said in their previous quarter they expect the next quarter to be their best. You can listen to the earnings call on uh, marketbeat.com. Uh, NVIDIA NVDA for May 10th. After hours, May tenth. After hours, I'm 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 tell you right now, I'm going to be put buying some some calls that day. That's going to be a beat. Their data center business is uh, their fastest growing business right now, and uh, they're crushing it, man. They're crushing it. They're crushing it. Nvidia is a, is a star, and uh, that's 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 next year again. If, if unless we have. Um, you know, unless of course the market pulls back, uh, this this could for for sure be a three hundred dollar stock going into twenty nineteen. 
all right? It could be a three hundred stock, three hundred dollar stock going into to twenty nineteen. Uh, Mastercard, Tesla earnings, yes. Mastercard, Tesla earnings. Mastercard should be a beat. Tesla, I don't know. Tesla, I don't know. All right? Obviously, they they had their Model Three challenges. Tesla May second. Mastercard May second. What's Visa as well? Visa. All right, Visa is a while a while away. It looks like they already put theirs out. Uh, what other company I'm looking for? I'm also looking for Yelp. I'm looking to see what Yelp is going to do. That's 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 one that uh, can either you know jump very volatile during earnings, up or down, right? It's huge gaps during earnings day. I mean, this is. Right, so either way, it's a big, big mover. That's another one I'm interested in. Uh, I want to see what Roku, of course, my old nemesis, Roku. All right, looking for Ro Roku to put the the knife in the back of Roku and send that to the single digits. Another one that that just that's just went public. Who remembers Dropbox? Nobody's brought up Dropbox in the chat room in a while. Dropbox. You know, Dropbox is another one that's going to be announcing earnings. And I think that's when you're going to be able to see, all right, is, is, this, is this company for real? Is this company for real? In fact, if you go back to Snap, right, which basically collapsed today. Snap is like down two, buck, three, two or three dollars after hours, two dollars after hours right now. They're at like 12 something. They're like right here right now. All right. They're like right here right now. And by the way, Snap. Snap is going to. I'm looking at Snap as a possible trade tomorrow because Snap is going to open up at like 9 on the RSI. So you're going to get a bounce on Snap in the morning. And wherever that high is, right? Because what, what's going to happen is it's going to bounce and it's going to come down. Right? Because it just needs. It's just so far down. It needs to kind of come up to go back down even further it, it's a bullshit situation and I mean if you read the, the report there things are just going from you know they can't get any worse for snap right now uh, nobody wants this and they're going there I mean it's headed for the single digits but you're gonna get a bounce on that in the morning because it's gonna open up at like nine on the RSI on the daily chart so snap is going to bounce it's going to get to a high and then i want to sell calls above that high whatever that high is because i figure it'll hit and come back down all right and i'll, I'll take a small entry to see what happens and uh run the game clock on that by friday and keep that premium roku may be forming a wedge yeah roku could, but we'll see but again that's that's one that you know I wouldn't play into earnings. I'd play what happens after it. Even Snap. I didn't know what was going to happen with Snap. Uh, I tweeted Apple. I didn't know what was going to happen with Apple because everybody was talking about uh, their largest semiconductor supplier out of Asia. They reported, you know, worse than expected uh, business or sale. And they figure, well, damn, if the largest supplier to Apple is reporting that their demand is lower than previous, you know, previous quarters, that means Apple isn't doing well. Come to find out that was wrong. That was wrong. And I would have gotten burned if I if I bought puts on Apple today. In fact, there was, uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Cass or whatever his, his, his last name is. Donald Cass or whatever. But he, he tweeted that, hey, I'm, I'm shorting Apple. This, he said that in the morning. So I know he got killed. I know he got killed. He said X is too Trumpy. Yeah, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm done with the steel plays. I thought the steel uh, situation was going to turn up for them, right? I mean, he signed the bill, make it more competitive for them, do bit, bet, do you know, help them do better. Uh, their earnings is July 26. Um, did they hold on? Did they report? recently I'm seeing here that they reported recently did they you're seeing that they had an earnings for you I, I don't know I, I'm not I don't pay attention to the steel stocks 
but uh, that's just it's all over the map, bro. It's all over. I mean, they they just um, you know, they did report recent. Okay, and it hasn't hit the bottom line yet. It hasn't hit the bottom line yet. Vic Rio, you said uh, you're looking at SLTK. Open your account at TD Ameritrade. SLTK. All right, OTC. Do you have a vid setting it up? No, I don't have any videos for TD Ameritrade or how to set it up. But, I mean, you're a newbie. Why are you playing OTC stocks, man? Why are you playing OTC stocks as a newbie? You know. 772, you're on the air. What's up? What's happening, Sal? What's happening? Hey, what's going on with you, Treasure Hunter? No much, man. I was going to say, uh, I was watching, um, what was it, uh, BRKK yesterday. Okay. It ran pretty good, but it seemed like it took an L today. I was going to say, mm. uh, what do you think happened, man? Uh, bad, uh, bad news or... Oh, I have no... I mean, it's an OTC, man. I mean, you know, uh, there's a fat cat that... <laughs> You know, he's seeing the volume, and he's gonna dump it on you, bro. That's how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Profit, uh, profit taking. No. Yeah, yeah. No, that's not yeah. profit taking. That's a fat cat who's who's mm -hmm. who's you know helped the company pay for the promo, and mm -hmm. they gave him stock in return, and now all the volumes in it, and he's dumping on the volume. That's that's big. That's what that is. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. You said fat cat. You call it? Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I like that, like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, just uh, the second question was, um, I know Homeboy's out of it, but um, that uh, C -E C E L Z, mm -hmm. that well, I think the 18th. What uh, so what do you think uh, the 18th? Uh, the stock going do you think it might get more volume or? Because I think about if it, you know, if more volume come back in, then I might jump back or jump into it. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, man. I mean, when Ken says he's out of a play, he's out of a play. Yeah. So, you know, mm -hmm. he keeps his, his his ears to the ground on, on stocks that are really moving and have deep. upside. So if he says he's out of it, and you know, then it, yeah. it, it may not look not so promising. It. Yeah, I was like, I don't know, the 18th, you know, but I know I'm going to say they're out of it, but, you know, I All don't right. know. I not just jumped in, uh, you know, see what's up. But uh, that was it, bro. Um. So, uh, keep up the good work, Sal, and I uh, keep, uh, you know, keep watching, bro. Yes, indeed. Keep Appreciate it, bro. Thanks yeah, a lot, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thanks a lot. All right. Uh, for the biotech people out there, uh, I hope you're keeping an eye on the FDA calendar. On the FDA calendar. Uh, there are a few FDA announcements coming out soon. Uh, May 8th, I'm looking for LPCN. This is a stock that we've talked about a little bit here on the show, but LPCN, uh, they resubmitted... What was that there? Their, their testosterone drug. All right. To the FDA advisory committee. Now, the, the drug event, it was, was denied back on January 10th. Uh, it was denied 6 to 13 against approval. So now they've got another one for May 8th, 2017. All right. So I'm looking to see what uh, LPCN is going to do on that. All right. There's a couple of interesting things. And I'll give you the, let me give you the link again to the Biopharma calendar, FDA calendar, for you to go through on that. All right. Absolutely. Let me see here. SPOT. 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 That's spot. That's another one too. That just went public. Just went public. Uh, Spotify. Going in the right direction. Right for right for now, right? I mean for now. Going in the right direction for now. Let me see here. And did you guys see what what Facebook did to match today? Did you guys see what Facebook did to match dot com today? That was fucking insane. 
All right, MTCH is that ticker? Somebody said SQ reports tomorrow. I'm looking for that, but I don't I don't see any. You said SQ reports tomorrow, May second. Oh, they do report tomorrow after hours. Okay. Eighty percent believe that it should be a beat. All right. Well, Facebook announced today that uh, they're going into the dating game. That makes perfect sense because I've always been using Facebook to meet to meet women, and uh, you know, not so much anymore. But you know, Facebook, especially when you first got on it, I mean, you 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 got your family, friends, and also to meet women locally, right? I mean, because it's it's more honest than than some of these other websites that make you pay and plus you're not even sure if you're meeting the person in the picture right you could be getting catfished could be getting bad information you don't know if this person's seeing someone already whereas you know you see their facebook you see their name you see their friends if you're not you have something in common and uh it, it just makes sense it just makes sense for them they're going to be good at it they've got an incredible base uh, to sell that service to, if the fact, if it's in fact for, uh, for a membership cost, and if that happens, you know, you got to figure that some of these people who are on Match.com have a Facebook account, and you know, there's no reason to go long on Match, right? Obviously, it's going to take some time to, for Facebook to implement this, but, you know, so you're going to have a bounce on Match tomorrow. In fact, it's already happening after hours. You're gonna get a bounce on match. You're gonna get a bounce on batch uh, because you know it's gonna take a you know some time. Uh, that that was quite an overreaction. I mean, the stock lost ten bucks today. It lost ten bucks today. So you know if you're looking to pick something off the ground tomorrow, you're either gonna be in snap for the AM, uh, although that one's gonna eventually come back down, or you're gonna pick match up off the floor. All right, and I think match you you got at least three or four bucks in that, but you've got to be careful because you know if you remember what Amazon did to Kroger at the beginning of the end of last year, right? Let's go back and let's see what 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 happened to that deal. If you remember when Kroger bought Whole Foods, right? When Kroger bought Whole Foods, very similar move. All right, no, actually there it is. All right. Kroger was just doing its thing. wasn't wasn't a high flyer, but Amazon went and bought Whole Foods, and Kroger, you know, couldn't recover for a couple months. Couldn't recover till the end of the year, for the most part. You know, couldn't recover for the you know so, uh, and and hasn't been the same since. It hasn't been the same since. What's going on, Andrew? So you gotta you gotta you gotta be careful with picking them off the floor like that. All right, we're picking them off the floor like that. So I want to get into the strategy that because I'm not I'm not seeing too many other tickers. Uh, what I've been doing, which is basically collecting premium right now, uh, I'm not even I'm not even trading. You know, I'm I'm up like I said now. Uh, well, 1,200 today should be by Friday 1,500 total for the week, and I haven't traded anything. And this is this is this is my first my first attempt. And I went light. I went pretty light at collecting cream. This is a this is this is a four thousand dollar position. I I was like, okay, I'll lose four grand. Fuck it, and I've lost worse on trades. So on four thousand dollars, I'm going to be up 1,500 for the week, selling. Out of the money SPX puts. Not not a bad week at all. That's what I'm saying. Not a bad week at all. You know? They're, they're not they're not too many. There are not any pump and dumps out there right now. Uh that that have shares for me to short. Uh the market is sideways, so I'm not going along anything. So why not sell out of the money calls that are gonna expire worthless anyway? Right, and I'm going to show you that right now. Let's talk about that, and I'm going to show you the strategy which you can do um, with less. You know, you can do it with two grand, but I mean, you, of course, the more money you have, 
you know, I'd, I'd preferably like for you to start at around 10000 or more. You know what I mean? If you've got a fifty grand, $100,000 account, it's even better. Uh, many of you guys would notice this is basically the strategy. Uh, what's that guy on that CNBC commercial? You know, I started trading with only $4,600. And now I've turned it to $460,000. And it generates $50,000 a month for my family. That guy, what's his name? What's his name? I forgot his name. But basically, I, I just I just jacked his stuff. I basically just jacked his stuff. And uh, he's selling it for like 1500 bucks. I can't put it out there because it'll probably get my whole damn channel deleted. Uh, but I, I got a hold of what he was doing. I got a hold of what he was doing. And that's basically the, ba the biggest part of his strategy is that he's just selling out of the money calls he's selling out of the money calls uh, what should a newbie be doing to get into making money Sal uh, what you should be doing as a, as a newbie is learning and doing a lot of learning a lot a lot of learning and you know understanding options honestly because I'm you know this, this is way too much way too much money to be made and options than, than stock to be honest with you, I'm just figuring. Chuck Hughes, there it is. Thank you, Georgia General. Chuck Hughes. All right, so let me pull up. All right, hold on. Chuck Hughes, that's his name. Chuck Hughes. All right. So let me get my stuff. Tasty Works. Oh, nope, that's not it. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, get this situated here. Screen capture. Let's go here. Let me see if this is right. All right, let me just put on a, a dummy trade. And see if it works. Oh, no, hold on. Let me, let me. Nah, see, it's. Hold on, let me fix that, guys, so you can see the whole damn screen. Alright, so. Alright. Alright. That should be a lot better. That should be a lot better. Alright, can you guys see that? In a second, it's going to come up, and you let me know if you can see that. Let me spread it out a little bit so to fit the whole screen. So I don't want to mess up the aspect ratio, but I want you to see it. All right, I can't see the chat room right now. Let me, uh, so I can get your questions. Hold on. I'll move that over here. And move that back up there. Okay. All right. All right. So let's let's get it popping, because you should be able to see my screen now, and now I can see the chat room again. All right. So now, what we're doing is we're basically trying to collect premium. We're trying to get cash money deposited into our account every single week. Right. Every single week, we're trying to get some cash money in our account. That's why you trade is to make money. Now, when it comes to selecting what to do this strategy on, I like index options. Uh, I like SPX and preferably uh, SPX uh, like like many uh, indexes allow you to buy and have several different expirations during the week all right let me close that and as you can see our different expirations just for may alone you can see here we've got may 2nd and i have an option out on may 2nd you see may 4th which is this coming friday you see may 7th which i believe is monday may 9th may 11th so with spx alone you have the opportunity 
to be able to collect premium through the expiration of all of these dates for May. So this is a paycheck for May 2nd, for May 4th, for May 7th, for May 9th, for May 11th, for May 14th. You can get cash deposited in your account for every single one of those expirations. All right, going, going all the way down. I didn't even count these yet. I didn't even go into those. All right. So now when we look at SPX, first and foremost, we look at the chart. All right, we can go back to the chart and I can show you SPX. All right, and when I look at SPX, this is what SPX looks like. So we can see that's the top end. That's the bottom end. We can see there's there obviously a clear support at 25.50, right? Uh, we took off our moving uh, our, our trend lines, but there's, there's there's clear to be some support here at 2,500, uh, and you can buy out of the money puts there. But what where would you think would be the safest place to bet that an options would expire worthless? At the top, right? I mean, look, just looking at it, you would figure out of the money calls are going to expire worthless. Preferably out of money, the calls that are a ways away from being in the money. A ways away from being in the money. All right. So let's get back. So now that we've seen that, I want to look at now a close expiration maybe you know may 2nd is, is out of the question that's tomorrow uh let's look at may 4th because i'm going to be trading may 4th myself so we know that spx is at right now 2654 and as you can see here this is in the money right these are these these are in the money at the bottom here these are in the money calls these are in the money puts right so we know that these are going to more than likely expire worthless. Great value, a great uh, volume on these plays. So now we want to take a bet that these are going to expire worthless. So I'm going to take something like the 2680. All right, that's that's even pretty close. In fact, I'm going to change this because I want to look at what's my percentage of being successful. So what's the percentage of this call? ending up in the money all right what's the percentage of this call being in the money and as you can see here my broker is telling me that hey this has got a 28.3 percent chance of being in the money so that means if i sell this then i've got a well over 70 percent chance that this is going to expire worthless and i'm going to keep the premium associated with selling this option so I'm gonna buy I'm gonna go ahead and buy that and I'm gonna take a cheaper or an option closer to the money that's more expensive right because the closer to the money you go the more expensive the call option is and I'm gonna sell that option against my you know my previous option that I bought and for that, I'm going to receive the credit. I'm going to see, receive a credit for that. And as you can see here, it's going to be a net credit of a buck thirty-five. I hope. I hope. Every, I mean, I, I, hey, uh, are you with me? Are you with me? All right. This is one contract. This is one contract. So I'm going to get 135 deposited to my account. I'm risking $365 to make this 135 as long as SPX stays less than 2676. I keep $135. Now a lot of guys will say, "Man, I don't like the risk of that. I don't like the risk of that." That's that's insane. I think you're you're ludicrous. You've got a 70% chance of being successful here. Now you can go higher. You can go higher, right? You can go higher and say, "Oh, let's, I want even better odds." Okay, well, you're going to take better odds, but you're going to get less money. 
And this is where it works out for guys who have huge accounts. You're going to get less money the further you go out. You get a higher probability of being right. Now you've moved up your chances to 80%. Right? But you collect less money and you put more money up for it. But again, you keep the credit, bro. This money goes into your account instantly. You'll see it right there in your account. You'll see it right there in your account. All right. Let's put some let's put some 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 more on it. I know we got some guys in here are working with bigger size. Bigger size accounts. All right. Let's let's move the strike down a little bit. That's way too far. Let's move down a little bit. Cuz I like being preferably uh I like being at least uh let me see here. Below 30%. I don't like being above 30%. Because now we're talking, you know, 60, 65% probability. And now we're, we're, we're talking flip a coin type shit. And I don't like that. I don't like that. This is a buy. Well, all right. All right. So we're going to add some contracts to that. All right. Let's add 10 just for show. All right. We'll add 10 for just for show. Okay, so on Friday, if SPX stays below 2681, do the math on that, right? SPX is 2654, all right? 2681 is where we need to be. We're at 2684. That means, hold on, hold on, 2681 minus... 2684. Hold on. Hold on. Why is it giving me negative? 2681 minus 2654. There you go. 27 points. And you can do the percentage move on that because I'd, I'd rather show you the percentage. But SBX has to move 27 points against you within the next three days right tomorrow thursday and friday 27 points 27 points for you to either lose four grand or keep one thousand dollars in your account there's risk associated with anything there's guys are gonna say oh, i don't like that risk okay fuck you don't don't do it don't do it. That's fine. Don't do it. You you can keep trading OTC penny stocks. You can keep trading, you know, the, those. That's fine. Go do that. That's cool. But I'm going to tell you right now, this has been the easiest way to make money that I, 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 I think I've ever seen trading. And what's crazy is that some of you guys in here have known about this strategy. You've already known about it. And I'm not mad at you for not telling me. I'm just, I'm mad at myself for not doing the research necessary for me to find out myself to do it. Now I found out, you know, and I'm not, I don't plan on doing anything else because I'm just selling a huge amount of out of the money calls that I know are going to expire worthless. And I, I know they're going to expire worthless. And again, you can do it on SPX. You can do it on practically any pretty liquid ticker out there again you're just gonna have to make sure you do your due diligence and make sure you 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 know your entries are right you don't want to get too greedy because a lot of guys who get wiped out in this they get too greedy all right the key is is building your account up slowly to where you go you get size on even on those further the money out options all right are you, are you guys with me are you with me this is this is tasty trade. All right, let let me let me do a cheap one for you, okay? Because I, I just showed you, that's with ten. All right, I I I can I can do with the regular stock, like for example tomorrow. One that I'm entertaining is Snap, and I've already kind of talked to you about it. Snapchat. I've told you where Snapchat is. Uh, Snapchat right now. Is at twelve dollars. All right, 
it, it, these these calls are going to be eviscerated tomorrow. I mean, they're going to they're going to be trading for pennies. These May fourths, they're probably not going to be that much meat on the bone. But that's why I'm looking for the bounce to happen tomorrow on Snap, uh, and wherever the high is, that's where I want to sell calls against. All right, so Snap right now twelve bucks after hours. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to look at some of these, and again they're going to be. You know, Snap is going to open up like right here. And it's going to open up literally like right here in the money. These are going to be eviscerated. These are going to be like 50, 60 cents. All right. So let's say we open up at 12. I think it could still move a buck against me. So I'm going to want like these 14s. These 14s, this 1450. These in particular are ones that I'm really going to be eyeing on Snap to expire worthless by May 4th. Because I don't see Snap coming back two dollars by the end of Friday all right and I may hold out and do this on Thursday because I may not I may not do it tomorrow I may wait to see what happens with snap tomorrow all right because again you can lose a lot of money if you fuck this up if you don't know what you're doing you can lose a lot of money all right but you can make a shitload of money if you do it right and you don't get greedy I'm telling you guys right now, for those of you guys who are making only a couple hundred bucks a week, you know who you are, right? You make less than a thousand a week. You're making less than two grand a month. I'm, I just showed you a way that I can get you a thousand bucks a week. Guaranteed. All right? I just showed it to you. So, we're going to go buy this 14. And again, I, I, all I can do is use the prices that I have now because we're after hours and it is what it is. But again, I'm going to buy the 14. I'm going to sell the cheaper 1350 against it. All right. I'm going to get a credit. Your broker is going to look. It's going to look the same way on your broker. I'm going to get a net credit, and because it's cheaper than SPX, it's going to be dirt cheap. Watch. So I'm only getting 20. I got to put up 30 and this is where you can really load up. So look, I got you the opportunity to play a credit spread with less than 100 bucks. With less than 100 bucks. Now obviously like I said, you know, I I I, I want you to have more size in this. I mean, you know, you're not going to do much with 20 bucks. You know, holding 20 bucks for 3 days or 2 days whatever's left on it. I mean, it's it's not fun. All right? But you can do this on cheaper on cheaper options. All right? So that's where I load. I mean, I'm going to I'll load up on something like this, you know. I'll load up. All right? 50 each. Now I'm going in it. All right? And then this is based on today's action. It's going to be a lot different tomorrow. But now I get $1,000 credited to my account. My risk is only 1500. If Snap comes back above 1370, I lose 1500. If it stays below 1370, right? If it stays below 1370, I keep a grand in my account. Cash money delivered to me in my account. No questions asked. No questions asked. All right? No questions asked. All right. You said pin this video. No, I'm going to delete this video. I'm going to delete this video because I got a, I got a system that I'm creating here that I'm going to end up selling. I got a system. I, I'm, I just gave it to you for free. I just gave it to you for free. But I got a system here that I'm going to be selling. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to be putting a package together that actually is going to help people. You know, we're not selling penny stock tra training, all that bullshit. I, this is a package that I know I can put out there that's actually going to really change people's lives. I like the way Chuck Hughes is doing it. I think that's cool. But I just feel like I can do it in my way and, and really touch the kind of people that I know I can touch. You feel me? I'm just basically teaching, you know, teaching a very basic strategy. You know? Absolutely. Absolutely. Look, there's nothing new under the sun. You could you can Google right now, go, you know, credit spreads. There are tons of videos going back to 2012 
about credit spreads. There are tons of packages. Yes, I'm gonna yes, I'm gonna make a package against it and all that stuff, man. So unfortunately, you know, when things get rocking and rolling, you know, ain't gonna be no more show. It is what it is. But you know, this is going to be a great opportunity for me to be able to get in front of something that I think can, you know, also bring me a lot of income using the strategy as well as selling the strategy. Uh and, and, and just put the education out there, man. Just put the education out there because it's crazy. This has been around since the, the beginning of option trading, but nobody fucking told us. Nobody fucking told us this shit. You know what I mean? And there are traders who know this has been out there. I, that's why it gets me heated to think to, to even talk about it because... I know that there were traders who knew about this strategy, but they just don't tell people. You know what I'm saying? They're like, oh, fuck it. I'm not going to tell people or anything like this, blah, blah, blah. You know? Gucci said, at least maybe let your listeners have it for free. What, what do you mean? I just gave it to you. I just gave it to you. I just gave it to you for free. We, we, we just spent the last hour and a half talking about it. You know? Yeah. But I'm going to put it in the package together and, and commoditize it. It's not, it's not, you know, this is, I'm not, re, I'm not, look, Tim Sykes didn't re, 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 redo the whole deal of teaching guys how to trade, you know, oversold, overbought, dump, pumping dumps. It was already out there. It's, it's straight out of Paul O'Neill's How to Trade Stocks. Literally, almost word for word on some of his stuff. Six one two, you're on the air. What's up? Hey, get five or sell. Hey, what's up, Chris? Nothing. Same dirt, different shirt. Um, man, I wanted to. Uh, how are you? Good, good. What's up, man? Um, do I need to know? Do I need to know how to do trend lines in order to uh make to come out more profitable on my trades? You think? Absolutely, man. You should, yeah. Candlesticks, tread lines. Um, I did. Ca I'm doing candlesticks, and I did the. Uh, and I'm under. Uh, sorry, and, and indicators and oscillators, but I skipped right past the trend lines. Yeah, yeah. Trend. You should know, of course, man, because I mean, understanding that allows you to do a better job of of identifying support and resistance, man. I, absolutely, oh. you know that that's that's a part of it. You know, what I mean, and and becoming that holistic. You know, trader that that people talk about, and, and, and again, you know, nobody's going to be a hundred. You know, nobody's going to be a master, right? But the pro the idea is just getting right. to a point where you can look at something and, and see what the hell you're looking at, and identify mm -hmm. at least support and resistance, and whether or not the stock is either going up or down. That's that's basically the gist okay. of it. All right. Um. And as far as the ticker, uh, I'm thinking N E T E is is like going to do something. Uh. Okay. Yeah, but other than that, I was just wanted to ask that. Uh, I wanted to absolutely skip past that, but um, it's, I'm not going to be able to do it. Evident, evidentemente, patron. Evidently, I can't do it, boss. All right. Well, all right, appreciate you, Chris, man. Yeah, I, I want to finish this lesson real quick, but I, I'll take a look at that, bro. Just let me know in the chat room. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Being, I mean, all right. Uh, take care. Bye. Ciao. Right. Yes, indeed, man. Shout out to Chris. Appreciate that. I, yeah, I don't want to get distracted. I don't want to get distracted. I don't want to get distracted away because, you know, I'm going to go in there. We're going to start pulling tickers, and I want to get this lesson out there so that when when people, oh, where, where did he go? Where, where, where's, where's he at? Oh, now he's selling this thing now, and you're not doing the show. Well, I, I told you why. I, I, I kind of told you why. Uh, you said, is this the same thing James Ultra is selling for? I don't know who James Ultra is. James, okay, is that the weirdo, the Bitcoin weirdo? Is that the Bitcoin weirdo? Yeah, man, you know, that's that guy's a, you know, that, that Bitcoin fraud. All right, so you can do it on Snap, you can do it on SPX, you can do it on Spy, you can do it on QQQ. 
you know, I like doing it on ETFs because of the liquidity. All right. And I'm I'm doing, you know, again, I did it for beginner size this week, but I'm, you know, May 4th, the, the coming one, I'm going hard. I mean, I'm going heavy on some of these other ones. Uh, again, I love SPX. Uh, you guys can do SPY. You can do QQQ. Uh, you can do single stock. I don't know. I mean, I'm, you know, you can do single stock as well, particularly, you know, companies that are very liquid, like snap and many of the other ones you know uh it's a great way to buy options on into earnings relatively cheap all right let's look at for example let's look at i want to show you one we're going to do uh show us out of the money puts all right sure let's look at nvidia that's a great opportunity to buy some out of the money puts because i know that's going to be a beat so we can look at nvidia all right so we know nvidia Earnings. Somebody give me Nvidia earnings. Somebody give me Nvidia earnings real quick on 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 earnings whisper. Because I don't want to have to lose my my screen here. In the chat room. So we can play this out the right way. I don't know anything about iron condors. Uh, somebody give me NVIDIA earnings, please. Earningswhispers.com. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Five ten after hours. Okay, thank you, Dr. Stangham. All right, so we know it's five ten. After hours, okay, so yeah, May 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 18th will be just fine. Although that May 10th does look like, does look prettier, but May May 18th is fine. All right, so we know these again. When you're looking at your chart, we know right now the video is at 227. We expect it to beat. We know these are calls. These are out of the money, right? These, I mean, excuse me, these are in the money. These are in the money calls, as you see here. They go. You know, to very very expensive, right? These these are very very expensive, uh, in the money calls. So you can see these are out the money, right? So we can sell these out the money calls, right? We can sell these out the money calls because we expect by May 18th, Nvidia to be a lot higher as this particular option goes in and out from earnings. So again. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to buy, let's say, these 217.50s. All right. And then I'm going to sell. Uh, oh, oh, wrong one. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to buy and then I'm going to sell the more expensive option against it. I'm going to buy the 217.50s and I'm going to sell the more expensive option to get it against it. I get a credit of 95 cents, which is $95, deposit into my account with a risk of 155. All right. So obviously, you already know, you know, I'm gonna go in pretty heavy on something like that. All right, because I know this this is this is gonna bang. I already know this is gonna bang. All right. So right now, probably wouldn't go in that that heavy but I'd, it'd be close I'd, I'd go more like the five five thousand range i don't mind losing five on the trade but let's go with the 50 example so we're selling right we're selling those two 17s all right let me go back we're selling the two 20s against the two 1750s we're collecting 96 dollars or 90 yeah basically 96 cents in credit right per share we bought 50 each so we're going to collect $4800 in credit and we keep this $4800 in credit in our account as long as Nvidia winds up being greater than 219.04 then 219.04 by May 18th 219 I think that's pretty likely. I think that's pretty likely. And again, your broker can identify that for you by simply looking at the percentage 
of it being in the money. Right now, they're calculating this potential at 37.9% of that expiring in the money. So that means you've got a clear 60% probability as of right now, right? As of right now, uh, May 1st. Again, as the days go closer to expiration, that goes either up or down. More than likely, I believe NVIDIA is going to keep going higher. So this, goes, this is going to continue to go down. This continues to go down. All right. What's really going to save you is a great, uh, a, a great earnings. It's going to be a great earnings. All right. Good. You said, uh, I'm going to delete this video. Nobody can learn from just hearing this one time, suddenly understanding it enough to put money in it. Why waste your bracelet? Well, other guys exp uh, 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 understand it. I mean, I don't understand what, 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 what's, what's, What's so hard to, I, I mean, I don't get it, bro. I'm here all night. I don't, we, we can, I, I, we, you know, what do you want me to do? All I'm doing, again, we'll, we'll do it again. All I'm doing, l l let, let's get closer. L let's get closer because I, I, I think maybe he doesn't understand how. Let's go back to SPX, right? May 2nd, right? That's tomorrow. All right. As you can see, I'm already holding these. These are these are my positions right now. All right. These were significantly more expensive than they are now. As you can see, they are basically expiring worthless. Let's go to the put side out of the money put side. As you see, this is the out of the money put side. These puts are expiring worthless. What I did was that I sold, I bet against, right? I bet I sold these 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 calls. It's basically like I took a short position in these calls going down. All right? See, a lot of traders use the platform TD Ameritrade. Well, TD does that. TD lets you do this. Uh, what happens if you can't buy it back at a lower cost? Do you lose all your money? If it goes against you, if you set up something, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it right now. We'll do it. Let's do, let's do another one. Uh, somebody name a, a, a ticker you'd like to see it happen in. We were doing the video. We did in the video. Somebody give me another ticker. That you'd like to see this happen in. <clears throat> I said Iron Condors. Spy X. All right, let's do it in the spy. All right, let's do it in the spy. All right, so here's the spy. Spy right now is at 264.98. You got a decent day today. The still the expectation is we'll go a little. Let's uh, spy is another one too that's got quite a bit. And by the way, if you haven't already noticed, spy is just ten times cheaper than SPX. That's all it is. SPX is just a ten x version of spy. All right, that's all it is. That's why if you look at SPX, it's just SP is just SPY times ten. All right. So anyway, let's let's uh, do May fourth. All right. And as you can see here, they've already lost considerable amount of value. They've already lost a considerable amount of value when we talk about these out of the money calls. Right. I like the out of the money calls, preferably if the trend and the stock is either sideways or going lower. I don't want to buy out of the money puts because it could come <laughs> in the money. I don't want to be underneath. I don't want to be underneath the action. All right. I don't want to be underneath the action. All right. One second. So. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see here. So SPY. Two sixty four ninety eight. 
I'm looking at the probabilities. Less than 30% starts at about 267.50. That's still, I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling comfortable with that. I still think it could move up $3 by Friday, though. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. All right. So I'm going to look at something that's about 268. Now I'm comfortable at 268. So I'm going to buy that 268.50. And I'm going to sell that 268. I'm going to tell, sell the 268, the more expensive 268, because that's closer to the money. All right. Again, they've already withered pretty badly. So I'm not getting a lot of credit for them. I'm not getting a lot of credit for them. If I go in, I get nine bucks. I put up 41 to keep the nine. All right. But here's the thing. What I love about SPY is that there's quite a bit of open interest, as you can see here, and quite a bit of liquidity, even in these, even in these options. So it only makes sense for me to load up here. All right. So I'm going to load up here. I'm going to make that 50 each on each side. You really don't want to make it uneven because then it fucks up and then your broker won't let you do the trade. All right. So let's move on. All right. So now with 50 on each side, again, I keep 50, 450 as the credit. I put up 2000 to keep 450 by expiration to keep 450 by expiration and that's still pretty that's still kind of light that's still kind of light you can go up a little bit more obviously you can see here the liquidity allows for it uh, uh this is still i like at least you know t this this week i did really light but let's let's do something like 150 all right and again the further out you go the more you have to put up but the more likelihood it gets approved. Well, that's probably a little bit too much. But the likelihood of this getting, you know, you being able, that's yeah, that's probably a little bit too much. But again, you got a 79% probability of keeping that, you know, what was that, 1,500? That risk is a bit too much, though. I'm not, I'm not comfortable with that. That risk is probably a little bit too much. for. That's why I'd probably, that's why I like the SPX is a little bit more expensive. But do you get what I'm, I mean, do you guys get what I'm trying to do? Do you understand the, the gist of keeping the premium and allowing the clock to run out and you keep that money? Okay. Okay. All right. So so most of you guys get it. Most of you guys get it. I'm going to do Apple too. I'm going to do Apple too. I'm going to do Apple too. All right. Bro, I'm telling you right now, bro. I've been able. I, dude, I'm. I'm not even. I'm not trading regularly no more, bro. I'm not. I'm not even. It's. It's for what? For what? I'm just let. It's like again when I'm when I made that statement yesterday. Let me refresh my page because see, I'm, I'm. I'm drowning out a little bit here. When I re when I uh, made that statement yesterday about imagine you know imagine playing basketball without a shot clock that's basically what i'm doing here it's like playing basketball without a shot clock you know you're holding the basketball until the game runs out and just before the hit the clock hits zero you go in for a layup you go in for a layup. Uh, you said you have to have them. Yes, you do have to have a margin account. That is correct. You do have to have a margin account in order to do this. You do have to have a margin account to do this. All right. 
So yeah, you got to put that initial. That's why I said you got to have, you know, put that initial whatever that minimum is at your company, 2500, 3000, 5, whatever it is. Uh All right, see now look, they, you know, oh, something's fucking up now. I'm giving the game. All right, there we go. All right, let's go to Apple. All right, so with Apple with Apple, they crushed earnings. What I want to do is I want to sell out of the money puts, right? I want to sell some out of the money puts with Apple. And I don't know why it's fucking up on the Apple chart. Damn. God damn. I mean, now that I. Oh, God. Oh, man. Let me go another ticker right. I don't know why it's fucking up on the Apple ticker, but I'm, I'm going to try again in just a bit. No, nah, not MU. Let me see another. Amazon is not that liquid, but fuck it. We'll use it for now. We'll use it for now. All right. Apple, as you saw, uh, I don't know. This is fucking up right now. I don't know why, but let's use Amazon for right now. And Amazon, as you can, as you already know, crushed earnings. We doesn't have liquid options. We doesn't have liquid options. Mitch, give me tips on getting an account that will allow me to sell premium. It's tasty. Works pretty easy to get. Yes. Yes. Everybody that I've sent to Tasty Works has gotten premium. You got to at least have uh, 2500 with with Tasty. Tasty Works. You know, go get a job at McDonald's, go, you know, do something like that. You know, most of you guys in here got it. 99% of you guys in here got it. All right. So as you can see here, the further out you go with this strategy, the more you can collect because the out of the money has a lot of value still left on it. See, I, I like getting closer to expiration because the probability of me being right is higher. Right? The probability of me being right is a lot higher if I put in my trade at two days before expiration now granted i can collect more premium if i come out a month or two months or four or five or six months but waiting for that to happen man that's you know a lot of things can happen in the meantime companies can get bought out the, the company could collapse i mean who knows we can have a war a lot of things can happen so i like collecting my premium relatively close to the end I like I like I don't like holding for longer than a week. Honestly, I don't like holding for longer than a week. But yes, you can collect a lot more money going further out. Uh, can I do this with same day expiration? Bats, yes you can. But here's the thing, bats. There's barely any there's barely any, you know, there's nothing left on the same day expiration. Right. For example, when I showed you guys that SPX or that SPY for May 2nd tomorrow, it's only like a nickel or two on there. So there's there's nothing much to collect. That's why at least a week. Right. There's no meat on that bone. At least a week. Worst case. Uh, for example, if you remember the trade that I put on my my Insta on Friday. Uh, on my Twitter, that Facebook trade, that Facebook was was I was selling the out of the money one seventy sevens. I was selling the out of the money one seventy sevens last week. That's how I was able to make that fourteen hundred. Didn't do anything but sell an ex an expiring you know. Uh, that I put that actually no I put that on I put that on Wednesday and then expired on Friday. Excuse me. All right, so let's let's do the let's do the Amazon thing right now. So okay, Amazon's at fifteen eighty two. Right, we know Amazon, uh, or we expect Amazon could come back a little bit, but there's a level that's not going to come back to. All right, there's a level that it's not going to come back to, and let's look at the chart real quick to identify that level. All right, so we got the chart back on the screen. We're gonna pull up Amazon. All right. 
And where we want to look at is we just want to identify some kind of support here that Amazon could stay above. All right? Could stay above. All right? And just looking at Amazon right now, I see a bit of support here. Uh, let me see here. I guess some guys may say this is, but I don't think I wouldn't consider that so much so. But I, I like that 1483. That might be a little bit too far. Uh, but that's the clearest sign of support that I see since earnings obviously we don't have too much to go by since earnings as a support level so we got a little bit of guessing we might have to do here we got a little bit of guessing we might have to do here i like this level as well the 1529 level as possible support looking at this chart all right so now i'm going to go back to my my screen i'm going to go back to my screen and i say okay 1528 1529 is where I want to be. All right, I'm going to change my expiration. All right, May 4th. As you can see here, there's, uh, there's not too much meat back on there. So let's go a little bit further out. Uh, man, there's very there's a little bit left. There's a little bit left on there, but as you can see here, there's a high probability of me being right. So it's going to require quite a bit of cap capital, but let's do it anyway. Let's do it anyway. All right. So of course, I'm going to buy the 1527.50. I'm going to go ahead and sell. And by the way, if I think that, oh man, I don't know. If it, you know, let let me let me do better on this one. Let let me let me go a little bit further further up. You don't have to get the very next one. You can increase your your edge and go up a little bit, right? Let's say let's say ah. You know, I think 1537. I don't see it coming back to 1537. So let me go ahead and sell. I'll sell that 1537 too. All right. And that 1537 covers my 1527.50. And I get a lot better credit selling this higher priced option than if I were to buy the option right next to it, right? Only 16 cents. So you don't have to get the very next option above it or below it. You can get a more expensive. Obviously, the probability is on your side the further out you go. The further out you go. All right. But let's just say you just believe, all right, Amazon is not going to go below 1537.50. So I'll go ahead and buy that to help finance my 1527.50. All right. Now I'm keeping 64 cents a premium on Amazon going into Friday expiration. So I'm going to get $65. Oh, nope. Hold on. Hold on, wrong way, wrong way, hold on. Hold on. Eh. Nope. Hold on. Come on, come on. Sorry, I got a lot of little bit of delay here. There we go. A little bit of delay on my side. Alright, so as you can see here, ah man, it's this this it's been beat up too much. Uh we're, we're really close on, on Amazon. And as you can see, so not too much meat on that bone. Inquires do you put up quite a bit of capital to get it. But still, still, again, if you got good size in your account, that's still a trade you'd want to make. That's still a trade you want to make. All right. So as long as Amazon stays greater than 1536. All right. And again, that's just just. 1536 just above where we wanted to be in fact let's go back that's just above where we wanted to be 1536 all right we wanted 1528 but remember we added that more expensive option to cover us a little bit give us a little bit more premium that's just above that line all right that's just above that line all right So Amazon, this is, oof, man, this, the problem with Amazon is it's volatile as fuck. That's why I'm not a big fan of using uh, a call, uh, you know, a, a stock with this, this kind of volatility. This kind of volatility. Don't get me wrong, though. Sometimes, dude, you know, you, you put on a trade like this on May 18th, right? I mean, you, you clear something like this out and you put it out on, you know, May 18th or something like that. It looks a lot prettier, right? 
looks a lot prettier. You know, the 15, 27, 50, 15, it, it, it looks a lot better. This looks a lot better, right? This looks a lot better. So these options, preferably uh, single stock options, you know, it looks a lot prettier than the ETFs when you go a little bit further out. As you see here, the May 18th, it looks a little bit better, doesn't it? It looks a lot better. You would do that. May 18th expiration. It's got to stay above 1526. Now, you see, in a bull market, I'm doing this all day. In a bull market, I'm doing this all day. But as you as you know, as you know, we're we're in a sideways slash declining market. So I don't want to be underneath the action. That's why I, I like better selling out of the money calls. All right. And if we do an out of the money call for May 18th, all right, now I'm going to get something ridiculous, right? So May, I'm going to get something, you know, just absolutely insane. I mean, we're not going to be by May 18th. I doubt we'll be 120 points from where we are now. So I'm going to collect some crazy a high out of the money, and I'm going to go ahead and collect that. All right, we come a little bit further now. Let me see if I can come there a little bit further now. Collect a little bit more premium. 1630 that's about right so i want to be above 30 percent so i still want to have at least 70 percent probability that's a little bit better i'll do that i would do something like this all right and again you're, you're going to find a way for you to make it better all right you're going to find what you're comfortable with you're going to find what you know you like all right to make yourself some cash to make yourself some cash. All right. Peace PLC. Yeah, price line is out there. July 20th, 1360. Yeah, that's a good one too. Life for business. Going going that far. Yeah, the further out you go, the more premium you're going to be able to collect. This is tasty trade. Tasty works, yeah. Tasty works, tasty trade, same thing. Tasty, it's called tasty works. That's correct. All right. The further out you go, the more you collect. But you know that's how they kind of get you because they're like, oh shit, he's got all that premium he gets to keep. But that's a lot of time for something to happen. That's a lot of time for something to happen. All right. Well, this is a platform specifically for option traders. So it's a lot it's a lot on the screen. It's a lot on the screen. All right. I hope you guys got this lesson. Uh it's a fantastic way to trade. Uh you know, I I I've put on, you know, again, I have a I, I this has really freed me from my computer this week. I've just, you know, I've made 1200 bucks and, you know, I, I, I wasn't in front of the computer. I wasn't really in front of the computer like that. And next week I'm going to go even larger now that I know what the hell I'm doing. I'm going to go even larger. I'm looking at possibly next week making over five grand for the week, for the week selling out of the money calls on, on various uh, stocks that I know just aren't going to get to that level. Uh, can you get stopped out? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, if, if, if the company, if there's, you know, something drops, there's a rally, absolutely you can get stopped out. You buy too close to in the money, right? You start, you start, you know, gambling with your probabilities. I don't like to go anywhere below 70%. I'm not going anywhere below 70% probability of me being right. I don't play around with 44%, 53%, 27%. No, 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 no. I want probabilities over 70%. If it's not above 70%, I don't even want to touch it. Because again, you're you're the money you put up, you can lose it all. And by the way. You can, there's a way to stop loss, but it moves so quickly to the full amount. You don't, you don't really even get a chance to, to, to come off that. Your, whatever money you put up is gone. 
All right. He said, uh, Bats, that's, that, that's exactly what I'm saying, Bats. You are, you know, I'm telling you right now, Bats, you can get away from the computer. Forget, you know, the, the, you know, the one minute chart. The, I, dude, there are ways that we can use and sell premium and collect premium. I keep saying sell, collect premium, where we are looking at, you know, two to three thousand dollars a day. I'm not comfortable yet putting up that kind of size. I, I, I want to grow into it, right? Because I'm, I'm waiting for that, for that point where I get, to, I lose one time, and I want to see how I feel because I know it's going to be one time you're going to lose. So I'm waiting for that to happen and see how I feel. Uh, but next week it's going to be five grand. And 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 five grand on a Wednesday expiration. So I'm going to have another opportunity to make more money that week. Again, let me go, let me let me show you guys how this, you know. Let me show you how much this. That's why I'm calling this the instant income system. All right. And that's why I love using the indexes SPX, QQQ, um, and SPY. Let me show you how many expirations. Again, this is the month of May. This is the month of May. All right, so I got May 2nd out of the way. I'm going to have May 4th, May 7th, May 8th, May 11th, May 14th, May 16th. Every single expiration, I get an opportunity to sell options that are going to be expiring worthless. That's a check, guys. That's a check in your account. That's a check in your account. No more, you know, oh my God, you know, is, is it going to hit my support line? Is it going to hit my... No. <laughs> that That's that's all gone now. Of course, you're, you know, still going to, you know, you're still going to find like a pump and dump. Maybe you want to short or whatever. But this is a great way to find and take advantage of things that are going to happen anyway. Many of these options are going to expire worthless. As much as 80 to 90% of the time, they're going to be expired worthless, either out of the money calls and out of the money puts. Again, in the bear market, you don't want to be underneath the action. You want to be on top of the action. In a bull market, you want to be underneath the action. Stocks are going higher, you want to be selling out of the money puts. Stocks are going lower. You want to be selling out of the money calls. I want to be on top of the action right now. That's the safest place to be. All right. Again, you, the, the kind of money you're putting up, you don't want to lose this kind of money, guys. And I know some of you guys are going to win two or three and you're going to go all in. And that's how guys get blown out and have to start from zero. You don't want to be that guy, man. You don't want to be that guy. So, you know, start making your cash, start building up your account and start getting this check. And start getting this check, man. You know? You said you roll the trade uh, if it goes against you. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't, see, that's the thing. I don't play, I don't play games with this because, you know, I don't plan on going anywhere close to being in the money because my account is, is at a point now where I, I, I don't mind putting up capital to be a little bit further out to get a higher probability like I said I don't do anything less than 70 percent probability you know I don't want anything less than 70 percent probability on, on this on this kind of capital all right I hope you guys have got this because like I said I'm, I'm, I'm deleting this video uh, I'm I'm gonna delete this video because basically, you know, not not necessarily in the nicest words that I'll put out once I get the you know the flow together when it comes time to really putting this out there the way I want to. But this is basically the gist of what I want to put out there. I want to show people that, you know, on five thousand dollars you can generate, you know, a thousand bucks a week, two bucks, two thousand a week, three thousand a week, and build up your account. To a point where you, yes, you can generate, you know, 10, 15 grand a month selling out of the money calls and out of the money puts. 
You said weeklies are dangerous. Absolutely weeklies are dangerous, but that's why we're going further out the money. We're not going close to the money. All right. We're not going close to the money. We're going further out the money. And yes, you, you know, when it's not 100 percent, nothing is. There's no such thing as 100 percent guarantee here. All right. That's that's why we're trading. You know, I expect to lose at least a couple of times doing this. Uh, where do I think the spy is going short term and long term long term? We're going lower short term. It could bounce into Friday expiration. We could bounce into Friday. Uh, yeah, we could we could very well bounce on uh, into Friday. I think tomorrow could be another sideways day. But again, it, the futures are weak right now. But calls are really cheap, and you know if we're I think Friday, Friday could be green. Friday could be green. So I think they're setting us up for a, a nice close into the weekend. Yeah. But I'm 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 looking at SPY and you know, long term, bro. I mean, you know, for example, SPY, you know, I think you're 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 good as gold when we look at, you know, some of these June you know some of these late Mays or Junes, you know, and we're talking about like you know, uh, you see they're they're already losing value. Look at these, they're already losing. Look June four, they're already losing value. Their probabilities are getting. Look at that twenty two. This damn near seventy nine percent probability for June fourth. So these out of the money calls, they're already pretty losing value here already. All right, so you can start, hell, you can start selling these now. You know? Look at that. And they're already losing. Look at that. I mean, 21. They're already losing value. And this is June. This is still a month away, and they're already hitting that, that option curve. You can remember that option curve shows you how time value loses a lot faster within the last 30 days. For those of you guys who know a little bit about options, you know about that option curve, that time value curve. It really hits that bend within 30 days. Within 30 days. Life for a business, you say you take profit at 50%. Okay, you can do that as well too. All right. Hey, life for a business. If you knew this strategy, how come you didn't tell us? I'm just curious. If you knew this strategy, how come you never told us? Yeah, some guys do take it at 50% and they roll into something else. You said you did? Does anybody here remember life for a business telling us this strategy? I don't remember I don't remember a call. From you telling us how to how to how to sell out of the money calls or out of the money puts. Okay, so it looks like other people are confirming that. Gucci said he didn't. I don't. I don't remember anybody calling me, telling me about, and and having an actual call saying, "Hey, let me show you how to sell and collect premium." I don't. I don't remember that. I don't. I don't remember any call where somebody called up because that that would have been a call I would remember. Where somebody said, hey, I'm going to show you how on 10 grand to make two grand this week. Okay. All right, that's what's up. That's what's up. So I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, so I got my. My strategy on SPX, and unless SPX tomorrow, I don't know, like uh, we discover the cure for cancer or something like that, and SPX goes up 35 points, then 
Uh, I'm hitting the bag tomorrow with almost $1,400 in premium for that May 2nd expiration. Uh, I'm looking into, again, Snap. Uh, but more than likely, I'm going to stick with SPX and just continue to sell out of the money calls on SPX going into May 4th. Um, and that's that's basically what it's that's just basically what it's come down to, folks. I mean, you know, I I I found it. Yeah, Snap is Snap is one that I can, you can easily connect collect premium. That's why I like Snap because uh, it's going to be dirt cheap and you can really load up on it. Tomorrow I'll have a better way to 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 look at it. We'll 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 look at Snap tomorrow a lot lot better because right now. I can't give you the accurate price on it because it's not, you know, we don't have the real numbers. But tomorrow, after hours, we're really going to be able to see what Snap did and where, you know, what, what traders feel about it moving forward. Hit that like button, guys. Hit that like button. If you learned something today, donate a dollar. All right, preferably more. But if you learned something today, hit that donate button. Hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed, man. Support the ministry. We're building wealth here, folks. Teaching people how to how to come up on some money. You know how to come up on some money. Taking people out of poverty. Taking people out of poverty. Teaching these lessons that everybody should know this shit. And and shame on people who don't tell people how to do this. This is a strategy that's look. I've been re I read up on this today. They've been doing this since 1989, folks. Can you believe this shit? Since 1989, guys have been collecting premium online. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even talking about before when you know you go to your broker and do that shit. I'm talking about online, going to some website, and and. I mean, just imagine the kind of lives that could have been changed if somebody were just to really put out the information in a viable way. And again, some people will like wonder, well, how, how is this sustainable for the broker? Well, because people lose. Because people lose. All right? Because people do lose. So don't think just because you're collecting some money that the broker is losing out. You know, there's, there's a loser on the other side of that trade. There's a loser on the other side of that trade. Somebody who's probably selling out of the money calls, uh, who was selling calls against it, who was, who knows? The broker always wins. Always, always wins. All right? That's how they stay in business. Ricardo, you said almost 30 years in the shadows. Absolutely, man. It's, it's crazy, right? That people can keep this kind of information. Watch people suffer People get evicted, people lose jobs, people, and, and, and not say, hey, man, you know what? Let me show you how to fish real quick. Let me sit you down and teach you about something called the stock market. And, and hey, you can put some money aside and you're pumping dumps, they're shorts, they're, you know, you can buy calls. You know, I mean, it's just, it's sad, bro. It's, it's just, it's just, you know, the, the more and more I read into it, you just see how evil people are, man. How fucking evil people really are. Because it's really evil for you to know how somebody can improve their life and for you intentionally not to tell them. They're an evil ass person, bro. Thank you, Andrew. I appreciate that, bro. And we're going to meet up too, Andrew. I know you're in town, bro. I just, you know, I'm, I'm a million places, bro. I'm a million places during the day. Um, but uh, this, this, this is life-changing information that I hope I've shared with you here. And I really hope that you take advantage of it and you use it. And, uh, you know, you, you make some money off of it. You know, don't get greedy, man. I'm telling you right now, you get greedy, it shit hurts, bro. It's, I'm, I'm looking at some of these trades. And, boy, that, that would hurt. It, it would really hurt to lose in a trade like this. You know, you get greedy and you... You know, you go for some of these out of the money or, or close to the money trades like this. You know, you come this close. Right. You get greedy and you take something like that. 
and you're like oh shit man i can collect a whole lot of premium here let me let me do this all right yeah let me let me get that 50 i'm close to the money it's gonna come right down i only got one more day on it only one more day you know and you you lose you know 1600 a thousand two thousand three four five six you know that 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 could hurt a trader who doesn't have much going all right Carlos you said you should do something to grow this group no I like it small I don't I don't I don't want to have 300 400 people in here yeah I, I like it just the way it is we got 80 guys in here who love to trade who care uh, about what we're doing here and that's that's fine with me I don't you know when we get into I don't know, 150, 160. I was getting hella uncomfortable, bro. I don't like that shit. Keep it nice and close. You know, most of you guys I've, I've spoken outside of the show to. You know. Well, it's up to us to then get intimate with people, whether it be your family members, people in the community who are open to the information because you can't draw somebody into this. They've got to be open and have a willingness to follow through on the information. There are a lot of guys who come to me in person. Hey, man, I'd love to learn how to trade, blah, blah, blah. You, you give them the information, see them a month later. Hey, man, did you, did you open up an account? Well, nah, I didn't really. Okay, well, you, you, you don't want it. You know, you don't want it. Uh, who else explains it? Uh, besides those two guys, there are a few other clowns on, on YouTube that, that have some videos on it. But uh, Sasha is good, too. I like Sasha. There's, uh, again, what's the name of the guy on CNBC? I keep forgetting his damn name. Chuck Hughes. That's his name. Chuck Hughes. Chuck Hughes. There's his name. Oh, no, I spelled Chuck wrong. Chuck. Chuck Hughes, and he's got he's got a YouTube page, and he's got one video where he's talking about yeah, uh, we we were selling about twenty five thousand a week and we collected about twenty five thousand in premium that week, and uh, you know we're we're doing something. I mean, just the way he's just okay. Yeah, I just collected twenty five grand. You know, I'm like, well, okay, sir, shit. You know, so we should send you money so you could make some trades at the profit, go to people that really needs the money. No, 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 no. I don't believe in doing that. Teach, teach a man how to fish. Then he can eat. You know what I mean? I don't believe in just giving somebody some money. I don't, you know, that's not going to work. You know, that's a, that's a very short term. Work. I want to show, show him how to do it. He can do it himself. He can do it himself. You know, teach me how to do it. I don't want to get money from from you, like you, you know. That's that's like that's kind of like welfare a little bit. Thank you, bats. I appreciate you, bats. You know, I appreciate all of you guys, man. Who've, who've and I just because of all of you guys have gotten us to this point, man. You know, it really was a work in progress, and I'm not talking like this is the last show or anything like that because. This show is going to change. As you can see here, I, you know, I'm, I'm not really, you know, with the OTC thing. This show is really changing into where we're, we're, we're going to be, you know, uh, kind of just talking about selling premium. And buy. I, I just love it, bro. I just think the, the money has just gotten to. I, I want you guys to put on a trade so you can feel how I feel right now. I want you to feel how I feel right now. How secure I feel right now knowing that tomorrow at 4 o'clock, I'm going to have 1400 bucks in my account. Friday at 4 o'clock, I'm going to have another 2500 bucks based on what the trade I think I'm going to make in my account. The Monday, the Monday after the weekend, that's another expiration. More than likely, I'm going to have another 1400 in the account. That Wednesday, I'm going to have another expiration. That Friday, man, bro, I know, I know it sounds too good to be true. I know it. And, and, and guess what? I expect to lose at least 
once or twice while I do this. I fully expect to lose. That's why, you know, you never go all in. I know it sounds too good to be true. All right? That's why I'm not expecting 100%. Even with a 70% probability rule, I know one day there's going to be a time where the market is so damn hot, it's just, God, they're just going to be, those, those, those robos are going to be buying, they're going to buy all the way through my goddamn strike price, bro. It's going to happen. And I'm going to be ready for it. You know? And I'm going to be ready for it, and it's okay. And it's 100% okay. But I really hope you guys, uh, uh, unless somebody has any questions, you guys already know the call in line. Um, <clears throat> we can look at a few more uh, charts to, before we wrap it up. Uh, but again, you know, the ticker is to, to sell. You know, you can do this on, on any ETF that's liquid, right? And you want to stick to the liquid just in case you got to jump and run out the trade. Or we had somebody, Life for a Business, says he sells at 50%. All right? If you're going to sell at 50%, uh, then you know, you're going to want to make sure you have liquidity there uh, for you to make sure you collect all every cent of that. All right? So I like SPX. Uh, DIA is another one. Uh, SPY, QQQ. Uh, XLF is another one. All right? The financials, that one gets really cheap. Uh, you know, but again, you know, you, it's it's cheap, but you're gonna have to really load up on those calls. So again, liquidity becomes very important on something like that. Uh, and then, of course, you got single stock risk. You got single stock risk. Now, I'm not a big fan of the single stock unless it's a it's a big loser, right? So that's why I'm looking at Snap. Uh, when Roku options come out, when Nvidia gets closer to options, I mean, gets closer to earnings. Uh, when Roku gets closer to earnings, that's what I meant. You know, those, you know, then you start picking, you know, those those weaklings out there. Um, but not not just anything, not just anything. All right, please don't go pick up just anything, guys. I, I don't want to hear any sad stories now that I put that out there. All right. But I know with this with this strategy, I'm going to get some of you guys. Uh, oh, let me fix my chart one second. I'm going to get some of you guys out of trading stocks for good. Some of you guys are going to be just option professionals from here on out. I promise you. You'll never you'll never go back to trading uh, stocks like, like before. Uh, DJ Young Love. Yes, it works with UVXY. UVXY. You can do it on UVXY. Uh, but here's the thing. Why would you want to do that, though? Why would you? Uh, bro. Uh, now that I think of it, I guess it would have worked. Let me let me look at UVXY again. Uh, UVXY. Uh, I guess there was a time it did work, right? Selling out of the money calls on UVXY. I guess there was a time it did work. I think it's too dangerous now. You know, I think it's too dangerous now. In fact, I think there was some articles on guys who were doing that, right? Shorting UVXY or selling out of the money calls on UVXY. And they became like millionaires doing that. I think it's a little bit too dangerous now. Um, but I guess you can do it, yeah. But, you know, I mean, you know, things can happen after hours and I just wouldn't want that kind of risk. But yeah, DJ Love, DJ uh, Young Love, absolutely, absolutely. All right. FCRE. Yeah, okay. Thirty-four percent gain on that. Uh, you're saying if your risk is defined, is it really too dangerous? Yeah, I, I I mean you're right. You're right, young love. I mean, you know, if you're willing to root you lose the risk, that's fine. Right? You know, just because I put up the risk doesn't mean I want to lose it, you know. <laughs> but but I, I hey, I'm 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 right there with you, bro. I'm right there with you. I get what you're saying on that. And you know, if we do return back to low volatility, which is highly unlikely, then yeah, I would go back to 
You know, I could see how somebody, I wouldn't, excuse me, I could see how somebody would go back to selling out of the money calls on volatility. Uh, yeah, look, look that up. Just Google it. There's an article on that. Man, he was a, he was a, a guy who worked at Target. He worked at Target as like a, as a, like a department manager or something. And then he started shorting, started shorting volatility. And he became a millionaire shorting volatility. Look that up. Look that up. It's on Google on, on there somewhere. Uh, do I sleep? I mean, I do sleep, but I do love looking at charts, too, though. I love looking at charts. I love, love looking at charts, man. I, I don't remember his name. Let me let me pull. I, I can see if I can pull it up, man. Uh, target manager sells fix something like that. There it goes. A former manager at Target became millionaire shorting volatility. Let me let me put this in the link in the chat room. Here it is right here. There it is. There's the link right there. Yeah, okay, yeah, Waivers. Oh, Waivers got it. There you go. You can click the link. He became a millionaire shorting volatility. DJ Young Love, higher volume would give you more premium. Yes, absolutely. All right, the more the more you you buy there, the more premium you get. The more you buy, the more premium you get. All right. Let me see. The more you buy, the more premium you get. All right, so clear this off. SBX. All right. This is SBX. Let's go with May 4th. Again, we're you know a couple days away from that. These will change tomorrow, right? As these out of the money calls will get cheaper. All right. Here's your probability. Again, this is Tasty Works. Your your broker. Some people are saying TD and E Trade are less complicated. All right. All right. So. We're gonna go with probability of all right, we're gonna go with that. Sell the twenty six eighty. I'm gonna keep a dollar. Alright, so put up four to make one. Put up four to make one. It's gotta stay above twenty six eighty one. I put up four to make one with a seventy percent probability. I don't mind doing four to one. Four to make one at seventy percent probability as of today. Right as of today, right? This this is gonna go even higher tomorrow. All right, but yes, absolutely. Look, when you add more, right? Now you still got the four to one, right? You still got the four to one. All right, so we can keep twenty, twenty. All right. So now that at a four to one ratio, at twenty each, it's still four to one. You put up eight to make two at a seventy percent probability. At a 70% probability. Now you're looking at this right now, putting up eight to make two. You know, you're looking at it as like, man, I wouldn't put up that kind of money to make just two grand. And that that's reasonable. But if your account was 120,000, you wouldn't take a second look at that. If you had a hundred and twenty thousand dollar account, you wouldn't even take a second look at it. You'd you you'd do it. You would do it. So at the end of the day, you know, trade where you are, of course, trade where you are, but understand how risk and reward changes depending on the size of your account, all right? You're not going to do this trade, but a guy with money is going to do a trade. This might not even be enough for a guy with, with that kind of with that kind of cash, which isn't a lot to, 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 to really think about. $160,000 really isn't a lot of money, you know. All right. Yeah. I, 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 again, 
you know, I, I don't, man, I, I, I just feel like I, I'm breaking the hearts of the OTC traders. But man, you know, I, I want you to join, join the rebellion. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come, you know, leave, leave the dark side, join the rebellion, and you know, look at a at a, a more profitable way to trade. Honestly, a more respectful. It is respectful to yourself. You know what I mean? Just respectful to yourself and your money. You know, it's not it's not cool waking up and being down twenty percent on some shitty ticker, dude. You know, and 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 it's not cool coming from my end. You know, promoting some of these stocks with grimy ass people. You know, behind them and and you know pushing them on people and say, oh man, I didn't make any money and you know, I, oh my god. Shaquille, you said I leveled up. I appreciate that, bro. Most of the time, we're trying to get 25% off, 25 cents off one and the penny stocks. Yeah, man. Do I know anything about Forex? Yeah, I know a little bit about Forex. I know a little bit about Forex. But I, like I said, I like the exotics. I said that a little bit earlier in the show, the exotics when it comes to Forex. I don't like Euro USD. I don't like any of those small. I like I like the the exotics preferably just because that's where the leverage makes sense and that's where you get those outsized returns. All right, and they're the best for swing trading. DJ Young Love, you said your thing is investing long-term dividend payers in one account. That's what's up. With the money you need from the future, another one for options and day trading. Absolutely, man. You know, yeah. I, you know, dividends and, and whatnot, you know, getting that check quarterly or monthly. Uh, you know, one, one of my neighbors, he's a big time uh, uh, REIT investor, loves that monthly income that you get out of some of these real estate investment trusts. Uh, but again, it's a, it's a business for guys who are coming out of that, you know, out of a family with, with large generational wealth. And, you know, you're sitting in an account of, you know, 5 million plus where that kind of action makes sense for you. Right. So in addition to the REITs, you may have, uh, I don't know. You have a whole mix of things. You know what I mean? Mix of other things. Along with that. Thank you, Bats. I, no, Bats, I appreciate you, bro. Because this has really been a growing pain for us to, to get to this level, man. And just constantly searching at what's, what strategy is best. What strategy is, and we're still evolving, you know? A guy put up iron condor. I don't know anything about condors. I don't anything to know about butterflies. So there's still a significant amount of growth, you know, to happen. But, you know, it, we're heading in the right direction. And that's the most important thing. Yeah, Ricardo, living on dividends. Yeah, yeah. And I, I like I said, uh, also, you know, growing up in Detroit, man, you saw those those guys everywhere because that's why GM was so it was so easy for them to take away a lot of the retirees pensions because many of those retirees who were receiving a pension were also getting the dividend so they had been investing in the dividend over 30 35 years including splits you know so they were getting the the check from the pension as well as the dividend so they got rid of the pension they were still getting they're still getting the the, the gm dividend and you've been working there 30 35 years 40 years you know, you're sitting on, you know, 40, 50, 60,000 shares starting when the company was, you know, who knows, in the 1940s when you probably started. Who knows how cheap it was trading at the time. You know, that dividend check is, is big money to you. AMD, yeah, I, I own a considerable amount of PayPal. I can sell calls and PayPal. I own a considerable amount of stock in PayPal. I'm a big, big PayPal fan. Considerable amount of uh, stock in PayPal, but I, I haven't entertained that. I don't know. I don't. I haven't entertained that, and uh, you know, I've always been looking for other ways to generate income. 
Uh, but again, that's one thing I'll look into as well, you know. But I've got a lot of things going on. I got a lot of websites, of course, you know, my sponsors. So I've always been about having different avenues to bring in, to bring in income. And this is just another avenue. This is just another avenue. You know. I I I have some option trading videos already. I, obviously, they can be better. Uh, they can be better. Um, but I put out so much information, man, just recently. I, I think I deserve a little bit of vacation. So I'm really looking forward to um, this coming September. September, I'll, I'll be in Ghana. Uh, and then October, I'll probably be in Tanzania. I, I plan on doing some, some traveling later on in the year because I, I put out a lot of content. At this point, you know, I need a couple, I need a break. So rental property, yeah, rental property. I don't know, man. I've thought about rental property, but bro, you know, one thing you love about the stock market is the fact that you don't have to deal with bureaucracy, you know. And when you start getting into that real estate thing and you got to get with contractors, you got to get with government, you got to get with people who may not have your best interest at heart. That's time that that it's in your way, you know what I mean? Obviously real estate has value. There's value there, right? But you know, it's just I don't know. When you start when you make stock money, it's hard to go back into into that that kind of thing. Uh, well, I'm, I'm from the DRC, man. It's just the, the political situation there is in Kinshasa and all that. I don't, I'm not a big fan, but, you know. Uh, Bats, Bat Scientist is from Zimbabwe. I'll definitely be hitting up Zimbabwe. Uh, but I, I really want to do some traveling. I've been, you know, that's something that I've long overdue. Long overdue. Uh, do you have to own a hundred shares in order to be able to sell one call and one put? No, my strategy that I just put up there. No, I don't have to own SPX to do that. I don't have to own SPX. I don't have to no, none of that. You can go right into it and do that strategy. But if you want to sell a call, uh, against a position, yeah, you need to have a hundred shares in that position. Yeah. Otherwise, the margin is stupid crazy on just selling one option. Just selling one option. I don't. I don't. You know, if you just take out a random option just to sell, I don't know what the the margin on that is, but it's a lot. Yeah, that's the cover call. Absolutely. I don't know. I don't know where those guys are, man. You know, when 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 I when I got away from talking about police brutality and all that crap a lot of guys just weren't feeling that and i just I, I didn't want to talk about that no more we what you know it's just it's a very you know yes it happens but i, I just I, I didn't want that mindset bro that energy is it's exhausting it's tiring and it was fucking with my vibe bro i don't vibe like that and uh you know i'm, I'm a positive thinker i'm always looking for ways to do better to be better I listen to a lot of motivational stuff. I just I don't have time to be in that mindset feeling like everybody's against me, dude. You know, I just I just didn't want to fuck with that. And it's cool. You know, they can do their, what they want to do. Shout out to you, Bats. Absolutely. Absolutely. Zimbabwe is on the, on, on the up and up, man. I go to that website for their stock exchange. And uh, Zimbabwe had one of the fastest growing uh, economies last year. This year is expected to do another double digits, and uh, they, they're headed. It's just just nothing but up for that for for uh, Zimbabwe and East Africa in general. Yeah, everybody wants to do a show now. I mean, you know, all power to them, man. All power to them, you know. Anywhere information can go out there and, and spread, all power to them. 
Just just know who is here first. That's all I ask. Corey Kwan, yeah, dude. I mean, you know, I I just have my mind on on positive stuff, bro. I just I want to include everybody. Everybody calls in my show, and uh, you know, I just I just want to keep everything on the up and up, man. And that energy is just I don't want that energy no more. It's a it's a horrible energy. And a lot of those videos I've I've deleted. I've deleted because I didn't want that energy on my channel. Period. And even having less people because there was a vibe there was definitely a group of people who just wanted to hear that uh i've attracted more sponsors you know since then than than before you know especially that black box they came to me they said man we're gonna cut you a check every month they cut me a check including what uh i sell through through my link and an equity fee they're they up their their the money that they were sending me, you know, and it's just it's, it's gotten better. I'm making more money than I was before, so you know the whole idea of karma is is real. And because I've made that adjustment, it's worked better for me and not having that energy around. It's been a bigger blessing to me, much bigger blessing. Yeah, I gotta I gotta check out those iron condors. I'm gonna check out those iron condors. I'm gonna get, we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into condors. We're gonna get into butterflies. We're gonna, you know, that's that's the next chapter. That's the next chapter. That's the next chapter, and we'll get into that. You know, slowly but surely, a bird builds its nest, guys, one branch at a time. You know, a house is a good, strong house is built a brick at a time, and. Uh, that's that's what we've been doing. That's been my strategy ever since. Is just keep going, you know. Even when you don't feel like it, just keep going, keep learning, keep opening different books, keeping deep different DVDs. You know, getting different guys on the phone, hope, trying to get different guys on the phone to speak and to learn something from. Absolutely. Yeah. Appreciate you, Chino. You know, man, it's been a growing pain for every. It's been for everybody, bro. For everybody, you know. For everybody, and it's only gonna get. It's only gonna just keep getting more in detail, more. You know, I would look back at some of the old episodes, the way I spoke at that time, the way I spoke and speak now. Very average to probably some of you guys, but to someone who doesn't know what the hell we're talking about, it seems so advanced. And I see it. You know, I see it a lot. Yeah, man, I'm trying to get my power level up. I'm trying to get my power level up, bro. I used to watch that Dragon Ball Z. Oh my God, he's gonna he's gonna be power level ten thousand. <laughs> ah, shit, man, Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. He said we already have Dr. Butterfly. Yeah, maybe she knows about the butterfly option. There's a lot of people in here who know more than they give off. They just entertain or they just want to see what we're gonna do. You know, I know there are people in here that, you know, just just uh looking to spy and see what we're doing. You know what I mean? It's all good, but we're gonna catch up to that knowledge. And I, I say anybody, I don't care how much you know, I I guarantee I'm gonna get to that level eventually. You know, I'll get to whatever level you you know. You're a PhD at trading. Oh, okay. All right. You know, again, one brick at a time. I'll get to that level. If I don't know about it now, I bet you I will. You know, and once I find out about it, I'm going to tell everybody else about it. Uh, do I re recommend Sykes to learn from? <sighs> Man, you know, I was really pushing Tim Sykes products a lot. And, uh, but at this point, man, I mean, you know, it's just, it's whatever, bro. I mean, it's whatever at this point, man, you know, uh, he doesn't even go as hard as he used to, in my opinion, he doesn't even go as hard. I think you get to a point where, man, you, you, you know, you, you go on, you've gone so hard at something that maybe, you know, you're a little bit tired, uh, 
you know, I'm not tired of making money, but you can tell it's 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 a little bit different, in my opinion. J Young Love says no. I'm, I'll never be against anything he does just because I, you know, he got he's he's that was the introduction. That was the introduction, so I can never be like no, I'll never. But you know, it's whatever, man. This is it's not it's not oh eight oh nine. That's that's the thing. It's not oh eight oh nine. All right, you still shooting for those official? Absolutely, Kayak Z. Yeah, absolutely, bro. And in my own way, I'm I'm calculating my hours all the time. I'm looking at the hour now. This is gonna be a three hour show. Uh, for the most part, and I thought I was gonna delete the video, but now it's like fuck it. I'll I'll leave it up there. Cause you know why? You know why? Because ninety percent of the guys who watch the show will never watch it this far in. We'll never watch it far into where we started talking about selling uh, out of the money calls and puts. 90% of guys will not watch it that far in. They won't watch it that far in. So, you know, I could leave it up and then turn around in a month later or two months from now, put out my new website. Hey, with my new ebook and my five videos showing you how to do exactly what I just told you in this video to do for free, sell it for $99, and a guy will buy it even though it's on the video for free. You know, I, I, I mean, but by then, of course, I'll, I'll, you know, I'd have a lot more other newer shows, and I'll, of course, I would probably take this one down, but I could leave this up for two, three weeks. I mean, you know. They still won't do it. Yeah. Black Mike, you say you watch it twice. That's what's up, bro. I appreciate it. I watch, appreciate everybody who's watching this stuff, man. You know, you got a lot of, you know, unfortunately, brothers out here putting a lot of stupid stuff online, man. Just a lot of garbage. That's not helping anybody eat, get better at doing nothing, man. Just wasting your time. And uh, I think, you know, Compared to some of the other stuff that guys who get more you know views than I do, my information is probably the most impactful. But you know, somebody said uh, a really good quote that you know, opportunity is dressed in overalls and looks like work. And unfortunately, trading stocks and learning how to do this looks like work to a lot of people who are just too lazy to do it, man. That's some real shit. I appreciate you, Black Mike. Shout out to O'Shea, man. Shout out to O'Shea Duke Jackson. I think he's in Brazil now, right? Shout out to O'Shea, man. I saw him on, on Facebook. He said he was in Brazil. Uh, he's out there in Poland getting his medical degree. And, uh, yeah, he's making moves too, man. So shout out to O'Shea getting his world travel on. I plan to join that group uh very soon otc 3000 otc 3000 he said bad scientist was and is an excellent mark yeah he's he, he got he just got in at the great time at you know where the the you know social media was really coming across and he just got in early that's that's tim sykes if he just started today i mean he would be nowhere near the size uh, you know, that's why even my show, like, you know, I'm at where I am now simply because of where I started at, uh, when I started and the guys who are starting up now, God help you. There's so much competition starting shows or starting channels and it's so much competition. How do you even stand out? And especially if you're not going every day, you're not really going hard like that. This algorithm, man, will will keep you down, bro. It'll keep you down. It's set up for the guys who've been doing it the longest for their stuff to be up front. And unless you pay for it or you start paying for views from YouTube, like what's the name of that that Hispanic guy, G Gonzalez or whatever, Tech Tech Solutions or whatever his name is. It, you know, he started out. 
I remember his page. He started out, oh, hey, guys, I just want to give you free tips and free. And now look what he's doing. He's selling the course. I already knew that was going to happen. I already knew that's what happened. And I'm seeing some of his promoted stuff on, on Facebook and stuff like that. As a way to get yeah, that, That's the new hustle. Let me teach you how to trade. It's all copy and Tim Sykes. It's all copy and Tim Sykes. They're, that's all, they're all his sons, man. R yeah, Ricky Gutierrez. That's his name, Ricky Gutierrez. You know, and he first started out like, I'm just making, you know, look, guys, I just want to help you guys. I just want to help you. I, I just want to give you tips to you guys to be successful. And then next year, I was, I was like, man, he's going to sell a course. Just watch it. Boom. Sure enough, after about a couple of videos, the course dropped. All right, guys, my course is $3.99. And, uh, yeah, you go in here, and then you sell here, and then you profit. It's like, okay. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be more than 100. It's not going to be more than 100, man. I'm not one of these people who's trying to live off the course stuff. Uh, if if I even do it, man, I say that a lot, but I'm very much a, you know, I'm very much a rebel when it comes to information, dude. I, I want to get information out there, preferably free. I steal a lot of people's stuff, you know. Like I just gave you Chuck Chuck Hughes's strike. That's basically all from Chuck Hughes. So I like taking from other people, and and it's like very much a Robin Hood thing for me. I get high off that. Getting somebody else's stuff, unpacking it, cutting the bullshit out and giving it to the people. I get a high off that. Oh, yeah, Oliver Velez, appreciate it, Black Mike. Look at Black Mike feeding the the ministry, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, Sasha Edvikov. Yeah, shout out to Sasha Edvikov, man. He woes hard. Oliver Velez. Oliver Velez, you know, I, I, I don't know. I was going back and forth with him on the, in the email. Again, this is... This is uh, prior to, you know, uh, I call the diversion days. And I hit him up. I was like, uh, yeah, man, you know, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, really get it to to our people and, 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 you know, get the black people to, you know, I was kind of doing that talk. And I don't know if I, I, I might have offended him because he came back on like, well, he came back on some like I'm I'm Hispanic and and which he is Hispanic. I, I, I didn't connect the two. I thought, you know, he looks like a black guy, you know. So he kind of he's he kind of was on that kind of tip. And then, of course, later on, I found out that he's really, you know, he's just into his culture like that. So, you know. Yeah, he's 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 a good trader too, Oliver Velez. He knows what he's talking about, but he's more or less like you can tell he's more like my you know Spanish brothers. You know what I mean? And I'm just like, okay, you know, it's cool. You said nobody. To, oh, you thought I was gonna? Nah, nah. I just was gonna see what you guys was gonna say, bro. I was just gonna see what you guys was. I'm just be fucking with y'all sometimes. I would have been, I could have, if that was the case, if I want to sell some course, I could have been done that shit. They got websites where they, they literally show you how to sell courses. For example, there's this sister, her name is Keisha. Or literally, her name is Keisha. And I try to get Keisha on the show, but Keisha's like, oh, I don't want to be in front of people, right? Okay, I was like, okay, well, but sis, you have a course selling how to trade options for $599. And this girl literally does like one option trade a day like that like she literally buys one call and she sits there all day go look at uh her channel is called trade 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 to resolve i think it's like trade to resolve or, or something like that and that's no no insult to her let me see trade to resolve or something like that trade with resolve there it is trade with resolve Trade with resolve. Right? Nice girl. Nice girl. 
selling this strategy for six hundred dollars she's got like barely a thousand subscribers and I'm like sis come on my show all right come on my show I'm gonna get you you know I got I got women who watch me too you know I got a lot of you know dudes who watch me too you know what I mean hey, they're gonna look at your stuff and they might be interested and you might get a sale out of it you know what I mean I don't want nothing from you or not well I don't want to be in front of people right now I'm not comfortable okay all right then you got another woman Tia Holcomb and Tia she's another one who sells I'll teach you how to trade thing you know and they they don't want to actually like be in front of people like they don't actually want to like talk about how they do what they do they just want to sell the package to you which by the way is no refund all right no refund and that's i don't know yeah play play the pumps do what you ever want to do bro do you know at the end of the day, i can't control the way you trade bro I'm, I'm just putting out another way to do it if you want to play the pump play the pump play the pump all right i'm about to get up out of here i know some of y'all got to go to the nine to five but man i hope y'all y'all ditch that 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 lifestyle 2018 man i really hope you guys want to you know stop with that nine to five bullshit man because i'm gonna tell you right now get yourself incorporated insurance uh life insurance health insurance is all cheaper when you when you buy it on your own anyway and you say you're self-employed so hopefully y'all get up out of that bullshit and uh you know, with, with some of this trading. I hope it's a it's a goal for it. Right, some of you, if you love your job, then you love your job, man. If you love your job, you love your job. But if you hate your job, man, please make it a goal to get the fuck up out of there. You know, because you're just going to end up making yourself angry and frustrated and depressed and sick. You know, especially if you don't love your job, man. Especially if you don't love your job. My first goal was how can I create some websites, how can I trade, how can I promote to a point where I can replace my income. You know. Option professional in training, that's what's up, man. He said, then you do drugs. <laughs> yeah. You know. But whatever your monthly income, preferably the lower it is, the better. You know, if you got a really low income, you know, you, 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 a brother making less than two two a week. I mean, not two a week, two, two a month. If you make less than two thousand a month, bro, get get your you know get yourself a website, get yourself a, you know uh, some some monitors used and whatever. Get get started, bro. Get started. You can do that easily. You can do that easily. All right. We just showed you how to get a thousand a week. We just showed you how to get a thousand a week on four on four grand, All right? A thousand a week on four thousand on four grand, All right? You can just keep doing that until you lose, but by then, uh, again, with a very disciplined way, you're gonna be able to build up your account. When I will make five hundred to a thousand per day or two days with options is gonna be bye bye, dude. You can do that, Ricardo. We just showed you how to do it. We can show you bats, bats. I know you can do it, bats, bro, bats. You're smart enough to do that, bats. I know bats, bro. You are smart enough to do it. You're capable of doing it. And uh, I know, I know you can do it. I, in fact, I know you can do it. It's not gonna be, you know. And, and again, it doesn't have to be this year. Don't have to be next year. But uh, I have no doubt you probably have the belief that you know you can do. 2x or 3x that within five years many of you guys i don't i have no doubt within two to three years you can be 5x what you make now uh five five years from now i i, I, I don't i don't doubt that at all i don't doubt that at all i don't doubt that at all man you know i don't doubt that at all you know america you you know with with what's going on online and how cheap it is now to trade you know it's 
100, 200, 300,000, 400,000 yearly, that's very, very possible with a great strategy. Uh, because the thing about investing is that is the more you make, the more money keeps making. It, the money, it just keeps, I don't know how to explain it. Like once you get, once, I think it really takes off at about 50,000. 50, 50 to 75 is like that. You know, 50 to 75 and then it, it, it's like that because the 50 at that, it's just, you know, at that point, a 1%, you're not trading the whole thing, but you'll get into moves where a 1% move is like, you know, 600, and you're good. And you're like, okay, fuck it, I'm good. You know, a 2% move, a 3% move, it's like, okay, I'm good. You know. But what, but underneath, that's where it gets hard, right? You need You need a big percentage, you need... That 15, you need that 30, you need that 35 percent. That's where it gets it gets really fucking hard. You know, when you're at a thousand dollars, or you're at two thousand, or you're at three, you're below ten grand. That's where it's fucking hard. You know, it gets really hard. Uh, but dude, above 50, you know, it's no time for you to reach 100, 100, 150, 120, and 200. And, uh, you know, it just gets a little bit more complicated in terms of paperwork because that's where you see after at that point, you know, once you correct about 100, you need to get somebody else involved with the taxes because the amounts start getting pretty big in terms of, you know, figuring out what you're going to do with your taxes and making sure you're doing the numbers correctly. You know, you're going to have to get somebody involved, you know. Yeah. yeah, and that's where you're also going to want to incorporate and start figuring out things you can put into your home, right? So now you're starting stuff, getting regular internet, like I was at the beginning I was doing my show. Now it's it's a, a corporate business internet service, right? So I'm not getting the residential, I'm getting the corporate line. It's in a, as a residence, but it's a business account. You start messing with that. You know, it's just a whole lot of other things that go into it, All right? Also, look up look up that RSI being, I mean, uh, that classification, IRS. You can be classified as a trader, All right? Classified as a trader. What's the name of that document? IRS. There's an IRS... Uh, where you get to be classified as a trader tax status. All right, and you can look that up. Is how to how to qualify for a trader tax or something like that. And again, you go through you you'll go through. Uh, once you get into that level, you'll meet with accountants. They all know this. All a good accountant, they already know because trust me, they've got individuals again who are living on that generational wealth. Who know about this kind of information they already know it's it's us who don't know it's us who don't know but you know they know yeah all right I'm trying to figure out if I have any other information to put out there I'll be back of course tomorrow uh, we'll see where our trades are. We'll set up some trades for March 4th expiration. Those of you guys who want to go in with me for March 4th uh, out of the money puts or out of the money calls, depending on what we go look at. Uh, we'll start looking at that. Uh, I don't see myself going in tomorrow, preferably Thursday. Uh, preferably Thursday. So I just get, you know, it's all about running that shot clock down, right? Running that time down. And uh, getting that high probability profit into your account. So we'll be back tomorrow. Uh, Avengers was horrible. I was looking for man. I've been looking forward to the Avengers movie for like three weeks. And then of course they made you know Black Panther look like a little bitch. 
you know they are coming into Wakanda we will defeat them ah oh god man. man just embarrassing man just embarrassing and uh other than that though I think we we're good is good yeah, man, just made him look like a little bitch, bro. That's the whole damn movie. Just getting beat up. Every every scene, every scene, Black Panther was getting he was getting smacked in the mouth, bro. Come this way. Ah! Every every look, go back, go back and see it again. Every scene he's getting his face smacked. Every scene. You know. Getting his face smacked. Just after he says a line. Just after he'll say a line. Oh, he gets smacked in his face, dude. All right. That's like, man, they just trying to play your boy now. They just trying to play your boy now. All right. You know, and Wakanda is supposed to be like a powerful country. He didn't shoot no vibranium. And if you notice, he didn't shoot any vibranium. Uh, he didn't shoot anything at them. I didn't even see his claws come out. Did he even see his claws come out in the movie? Man, they just they just be doing Black Panther wrong, bro. And then they they fucked it up. It's supposed to be Silver Surfer, but I guess Silver Surfer supposedly is going to be the one to come and save the day. Because in a comic, it's Silver Surfer instead of the Hulk. So I guess Silver Surfer is going to be the one to save everybody. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All right. All right. Well, let me go ahead and uh, ring the bell on this. Great show. Three hours. Three hours. I think I made it up for yesterday, right? I made it up for yesterday. Tomorrow's gonna be a, a quick one. My jaws is probably going. And I usually healed up by the next show. All right, let me ring the bell for that. I appreciate all of you who've been in the watching it the whole time. Yes, indeed. Yeah, if you don't make no money off this show, I don't know what else I can do for you. If you can't make no money now, I don't know what else I can do. Some of the other stuff we've talked about in the past, some of the shorting, low RSI, oversold, you know, maybe, yeah, those have been, they had kind of a bit of a curve, but now, you know, I, I don't know how easy it can get. But again, we still got a lot of strategies to learn, so we'll see. Could get even easier. Un we're, we're, we're uncovering that, that hidden knowledge, guys. You know, nobody's called up and dropped it on us. We, we've been uncovering it ourselves, man. You got people with 20, 30 years of trading experience who have seen this show. I know they have. They don't call in and tell us nothing. They don't want you to know. You know, an hour from the hood are the mansions, but they never go to the hood to teach them how to get out the hood. What's the fact, man? You know? The millionaires are closest to the hood. The sub... The, 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 the condos, the downtown condos, the billionaire downtown condos are closer to the hood than the suburbs. Crazy as shit, right? They got all the information. Crazy as shit, bro. It's your boy, Sal. Uncover that hidden knowledge. Uh, expiration tomorrow. SPX, SPY. Another expiration May 4th. I'm looking toward another check, man. Looking forward to another check. I hope you love this episode. We got more coming tomorrow, same time, same place. Shout out to Sleepy Sleepy Gucci, Ricardo Joseph, Andrew Gladness, Waivers 24, Cool Cats Beats. That scientist, life for business. Appreciate you, bro. Yeah, we're going to get into that strangles. We're going to get into all that. 
I got a book on options. I'm getting into all that, bro. DJ Young Love, Jake Odom. All right. Shout out to all my callers. Andrew Ricardo, Shirley Lewis, appreciate you. Sleepy Sleepy Gucci, Christopher, Andrew Gladness. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, happy trading, folks. See you tomorrow.